suddenly got really quiet in here. Well, waiting for you. Waiting for you. Well, I got all this equipment and <coughs> right now to get organized. So I will call the meeting to order. My watch says 6:30. The thing on the wall says 6:31. Okay. First, we need to do a roll call. So, Phil Irving. Nancy Dion. Alan Rutherford. Dennis Fentolaire. Jim Singer. Charlie Dion. Suzanne Heward. Michelle Small. Andy Diel. Denise Niles. Judy Nelson. And Vern Crozier. Um, is there anyone who should be here that is absent? Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Do we seem to have everybody here who's supposed to be Yeah, there? yeah there's 12 of us. Yes, huh? we're, all yeah, we're, we're all here. Okay, so we have no absentees. All right, let's begin based on the agenda. Uh, review, modification, or approval of the February 15th, 2017 minutes. Yes? I believe we have to elect a chair first. I really think that's the first order of business. So can we? Alan and I do not vote since we're not sworn in. Oh, you're not sworn in either? Or can we just ask for permission? supposed to be here tonight. I'm sorry? I think, I think it would be fine. I don't mind voting. I mean, that's just it's a formality. Right? I mean, does anyone object <coughs> to Kim or Alan not voting because they have not yet been sworn in? Hearing none, we will presume we're just over. Yeah, yes. What? Let's see if I spoke at December 21st. Sometimes I'm quiet. February 1st was the public hearing and the deliberation. She was there. Yeah, I'm not disputing that. I'm saying that's what's before us to whether we want to approve those minutes or not. And make Do we elect a chair first and a vice chair, please? 21st, I was there. December 21st, Corey. Okay. Look at that two minutes in a moment. We're going to switch. Okay. Let's begin with the election of the Budget Committee Chair and Vice Chair. Any nominations? Anyone interested? What? Is there anyone interested? Are you going to make a nomination? So please, let's keep it to that. I'll nominate Bill Irving. I must respectfully decline, unfortunately. I'm going to be in a couple of different committees, and I just don't want to overextend. So thank you for your... I'll nominate Denise Knowles. I have to also respectfully decline. I am on the same committee as Bill. Well, it's going to be a lot of work. I decline. I, I really don't think a chair should serve for two consecutive years. I'll ask my question again. Is anybody interested? <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you think a chair should serve for two consecutive years? It's a lot. It, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Um, it also it, it you need some rotating leadership. Everybody gets gets to be involved. That sort of thing. Okay, I get it, but I think that also it, 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 it gives some, um... Bill, what I would nominate Alan Robinson. Sure. I'll hit you. I won't decline. I'm I sorry? will second that. <clears throat> you won't decline. I won't decline. Okay. No, Who seconded it? Are there any other nominations first? Bill, move to close and cast one vote for Alan Robinson. <clears throat> Looks that way. Without opposition, Alan becomes the chair. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Thank you. All right. Sorry. Condolences, Mike. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so wait, 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 with that, we go on to the vice chair. Yes. Right. Okay. So I will take. Go, go this, this is just so that we can all remember this. We can't share from uh, off, from a remote site. Right. Be, uh, we need a very strong vice chair. Uh, no, for to, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm hoping that things are, are better this year. I, you know, I'm going to try it from this. This was my goal, so I'm going to do my best. Thank you. If you need them. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll go right on to uh, nominations for the vice chair. Do we have any nominations? For uh, Michelle Small, I think she could handle that. Do we have a second for Michelle? I'm second. second. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I don't know. I, we'll be partners. I'll, all right. I'll, I'll do it with Alan. Ah, that is sweet. So we need to see if there are any other nominations. If there are no other nominations, can we get a closing in one vote like Bill gave me? We'll get close, pass one vote. Excellent. With no opposition, Michelle is vice chair. Welcome aboard. <laughs> All right, now I do not know all the, the rules and regulations, so you guys are going to have to help me on my first <laughs> meeting. But I think what we'll, uh, what we'll start with, since we have our new elected officials, we'll just go right down the agenda. We'll start with uh, review, modification, or approval of the February 15th minutes. Bill? Um, page 4, item number 24, the vote. It indicates six yes and four no, but if you look at the individual voting tallies, it shows eight to two. Mm -hmm. So we need to fix that. And I think, Michelle, you and I spoke at some point where that was, you, your, your vote was not what was reflected in the minutes. Is that correct? So um, do we, I, I have that here somewhere. Um, the actual, that was the, that was the, Fifteenth, you said? Yeah, that which one? Favorite fifteenth? Mm -hmm. That's over left. You're looking at the fifteenth? So, yep. Yeah, which one was it, though? Item number twenty-four says motion to modify mm -hmm. by reduction the budget submitted by the select board by fifty-five four fifty in the recommended areas that Kay St. Hilaire suggested, um, made by Bernard Crozier and seconded by Bill Irvin. Um, so the votes, according to the minutes, indicate um, uh, Nancy, yes, Kim, yes, uh, Madeline, yes, Suzanne, no, me, no, Michelle, yes, uh, Dennis, yes, Vern, yes, Carrie Boyle, yes, and Alan Robinson, yes. Um, is that, but the, below that it indicates six yeses and four noes, which is not what's reflected in those numbers, so um, it looks like two of those yes votes should be noes. Right. And Michelle, one of those was yours? Is I that? believe one of those was mine. And the other one was Alan. Okay, was Alan. so then that, is, is that sound okay. right? Tip? That does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, so that was the only item I had for the 15th. Yeah. So is it 8 to 2 or 6 to 4? 6 to 4. It's, it's 6 to 4, but this is just incorrect up here. So, because there's there's actually 8 yeses up here and only 2 no's. And there should be 6 or 4. I would think, would Alan be a no and... Yes, he was. Okay, so That's what we're doing. We're correcting this here. Okay, so the vote is this. Is, the vote is, the vote is correct. correct. It's the the individual members' votes that was okay. was incorrect. Michelle and Alan would be the obvious no's. <clears throat> correct. In this case. Mm -hmm. So that was the only item I had for the fifteenth. So just to help me out. <clears throat> We just mentioned that, and <coughs> minutes get updated. <laughs> and how does that well, work? I send them to you. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Excellent. So you'll make the corrections and yes. send them over? Excellent. All right. You understand what we're looking to do? Okay. Just change the two numbers. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Can I, can I make a comment? Absolutely. And that is, this was a minor thing overall, and I think it needs to be recognized and on the record that I think Corey's doing a superior job. 
Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. No question. No, no question. Anybody said it wasn't. We looked for it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I think it needs to be stated and publicly expressed. And it will be in the record, right? Yeah. yeah. All the self congratulatory things. <laughs> uh, right. Excellent. So, with that said, I would, if there's no other changes, I, I would make a motion that we approve the minutes as reflected, with, as modified. Second. And I will second. Okay. With uh, any uh, additional conversation on the minutes? Nope. Seeing none, we'll go ahead and vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Opposed. I wasn't a member then. So we have. So you, you just don't vote. So are you voting, opposed, or are you not voting? We're not voting. Okay, not voting. So, so uh, 11 ayes and 1 abstain. No, it would be 2. 10. 10 ayes, 1 abstain. 9 ayes, 3 abstains. And a no vote, abstain, 2? I didn't believe him, so. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It passes. Majority rules. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, guys. All right, so with that, yeah, go ahead, Bill. Then... It, it appears to us that we have not approved the, the uh, February 1st meeting minutes, um, which I have also looked at and appear fine to me. So mm -hmm. I, I, I think we should um, we should look at those or approve them um, as written. Um, Can I make a motion? Yes, I will make a motion. And I'll second. Motion made by Bill. Right. So now. Is there any discussion on this? Because this was not part of our agenda, so I'm good with it as the chair because this is what we do for, for business. But is there anyone who didn't read them or who has any additional comments to make on the February 1st minutes before we make we vote to accept? <coughs> Seeing none, I'll look for a, a vote to see if we will accept the February 1st minutes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Opposed. No, I'm saying. All right. Um, so, majority rules, eyes win. I'm not going to try to get the numbers. All right. Are, are, so, to, up to the group, just before we move on from review and modification of the minutes, are there any other minutes or any other? Go ahead, Bill. Uh, same way with um, February 11th. I don't think we've approved those. And I do have a couple of them. Um, they're really um, almost grammatical. Issues. Um, what are they, though? Uh, page two, section B, assess valuations before revaluing. Let me pull them up so I can figure out what I'm talking about. Um, page, on page two there B, it says this growth across the town has in turn resulted in an increased assessed evaluations before the evaluation. And I think that should read, um, has resulted in an increased assessed valuations before the revaluation. Which letter is it? This is B. First one. Oh, first paragraph. And you said this is February 11th? Yeah. I have the first, the 15th. Was that all in the same email that I missed that? Uh, I have these then January no. 14th? I don't know. So I think that's just a grammatical thing. Um, if I... Who said it, Bill? Um, Suzanne, you said <laughs> this. I, I, yes, I did say that. It was a slide, I think. Or Do I have that correct, though, that yes, it should read the you said increase in... Okay. Yep. And then uh, paragraph D as well also says, um, Suzanne then informed the audience uh, that she remains in unsure. I think that should just be remains unsure. What was I unsure about? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> about the budget committee's particular recommendations about the budget. I'm still unsure. It was what it was. I think it's funny, but whatever. Page 
8 is the next one that I have. And again, uh, item M, this is Michelle Small. We must fund out, it, it reads, we must fund out police and fire department. I believe it should read, we must fund our police and fire departments. And the last one is page 15. Am I being too picky on this stuff? No, I can't find it on my email. Okay, so I'm listening. I might have uh, put it on your uh, the name. Not the date of what it was. You did what? I'm sorry. Like public hearing or something. Um, Which one are we talking about? Which hearing was this? This was the one on the 11th of February. The so public hearing the, piece or the deliberate? Uh, I think it goes it goes one right into the other. Oh, I see. Um, I'm just going. I, I just made yeah, a clerk which one went down. Um, page 15, item number four. Denise is speaking. Um, Denise makes a comment that the chair should not be voting in order to create a tie which results in a failed recommendation and wishes to see documentation saying it is allowed. I state that I believe no one should be abstaining. We are elected here by our constituents and they expect me to make votes. I believe that's supposed to. And they expect us to make votes. Mm. I might, yeah, I might have quoted. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. Um, sure. All right, necessary so. to do that, but. Um, should I send these directly rather than bring this up here since most of this is grammatical stuff and I just... Well, I'm recording this, so... Okay. Yeah, I have So, to. but I mean beforehand because it, it seems sort of... Uh, I mean, these are just... That's what we do. You must okay. Have, sorry. You must have had my seventh grade teacher, too. Mrs. Stammers? <laughs> well, this is what I do all day is read and review the books. There we go. I would yeah, prefer, like if it's just grammatical stuff, just yeah. beforehand. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Um, yeah, because and, and again, I, I mean, part of me, I, I don't mean to be picky because I know it's you know doing what you do. I mean, ninety-nine percent of it is right on. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I think it's important that the, yeah. the record. Is no, no, I want it to. It's okay. going to be right. permanent. Yeah, and that's all I have. So, uh, do you want to make a motion? Um, to accept the yes, I would make a motion that we accept the provisions uh, as we've just discussed, or just accept the minutes as they are being amended. <coughs> Correct. Right. I'm looking for a second. Second. Okay, we've been uh, motion and seconded. Is there any other discussion? With that, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. All right, uh, let it be known that it passed. Majority rules. Okay. Uh, Alan, go ahead. A, a procedural thing. What sure. now has to happen is those have to have the word draft and the corrections made. Mm -hmm. They have to be sent to you. You, in turn, have to send them to Tia. Okay. So that she knows that these are final. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. Just remove the draft version, put this one in. Remove the draft and then. One of the many wondrous tasks. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited, Vern. I can't wait. <laughs> no, it'll be good. It, it, it's good. There's a lot to it, and, and I'm hoping you guys will bear with me. Yeah, and if you, well, speaking for me, I did it a couple of years before, but if you have questions, feel free to call. Thank you. Email, send smoke signals. I appreciate it. You'll be hit up. All right, with that, we, we actually did number two, which was election of budget committee chair and vice chair as number one. So we're, we're scratching that off. We're moving down the list. So number three is the review of third quarter FY17 school financials. First quarter FY17 to the uh, town and water uh, and sewer district financials. So we'll start with the school and we'll welcome Judy. Thank you. It's my rep. first time serving as the, uh, as the actual rep to the budget committee. I'm happy to be here. I did bring three hard copies for those. I have five. Take one. And these are with oh, detail. I don't know what that is. Oh, those are with detail. What is that? That's, That's the, the detailed detail. one at the end, okay. at April 7th. Okay. All right. I did not bring detail. I brought the, uh, um, the, the detail report contains the summary. Okay, so I'm, I'm good with Judy going on with her presentation. Okay. So I, I actually have a number of things to chat about tonight. And I uh, hope folks will uh, join me in the conversation. Um, my basic goal for this year and for this budget season 
is uh, basically that, that we can share a lot, I can share a lot of school information, we can have conversations, so that when it comes time to really consider the school budget sometime in January, for, that, that we can all be making uh, good decisions based on all the information we've talked about uh, through, the, through the season. Uh, so, so my goal truly is to share as much information as possible with you. So a number of things have come to light in the past few months, and I want to share those with you. Um, one of the things that happens during a transition period is we find out that different school districts um, account for things differently. For instance, uh, we send our, our 7 through 12 to Marshwood, and this is, this is, by the way, a real example, and we pay for special ed by unit price. We did not get a definition of unit from Marshwood. Uh, so we assumed a unit was an hour. It was not uh, an hour. So when we figured out the price, we were figuring out it would be an hour, you know, we were figuring an hour per unit. They were figuring more like 45 or 50 minutes. So in other words, we had budgeted more money than we needed for special ed. So, so good for us. We now have more money in our budget. Um, to the tune of, oh, I don't know, over 100000 probably about $125,000. Is 45 minutes that different? From that? Well, I, 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 I'm using that as an example. We don't know exactly yet. We still don't know how they define a unit. We only know how we define a unit. Or a day, for instance. You know, a day, maybe we said, maybe we said a day was seven hours, maybe they said a day was six hours. We don't know yet, but we are working that out with them. Uh, one of the things we are requesting for Marshwood to do going forward now is that here are our special ed kids, here is, are the services they're going to require for, you know, for essentially to cover New Hampshire law for this amount of time. So you tell us what you're going to charge us for them. In the past, we have not, we have not had that, that uh, working together in the past. So essentially that has now covered, go ahead. Uh, so I'll answer questions on this, but essentially that's, what happened is there was a, um, there was not an understanding on each side of what that was. Ma'am, mm -hmm. um, so how did you go for a whole year with not knowing? I mean, they billed you for an entire year. Yep. They must have had a unit price by whatever time it is. Well, it, it, it's interesting because it does take time. We get billed twice a year for special ed. And of course, we don't know until the very last one, at the end of the year, uh, because that's the one where you're doing catch up or anything. So we don't know till then till we're off that we're off. So it was discovered. Um, so 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 essentially by the time we discovered it, we had gone through three billings. It took us three billings to get her to figure out that we think we have a problem here. And and it's a good problem for us in the sense that we're, you know, but it could have been it could have been the other way around, but their, their bills were always coming in under what we expected. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't as much cause for alarm mm -hmm. as them coming in over what we expected. So we have a bit of money um, that, that, we ha that is now in the... Uh, Good. Are you saying they just bolt bill you? They said, pay us this amount? Oh, no, no. We, they, the bill is very detailed. Very detailed. Okay. But it was not as much, but we had put aside more money to pay that bill based on how we were figuring units than, than. Nobody sat down and looked at this detailed budget and said, bagosh, we're. Yeah, we looked at, we looked at it and said, it's, it's not as much as we were expecting it to be. Yes, someone did look at that and say that. And then they looked at it again, uh, you know, six months later and said, yeah, that's still more, you know, it's still, it's still <laughs> less than we're expecting to pay. And then by the third time, it was, hmm, we better figure out what the problem is here. And that's when they really uh, dove into it. So who, who would be calling after the first time you noticed it to ask the question instead of waiting until the next bill? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know if anyone's called then or not. I really don't know. Part of it is, um, of course, staffing to have the time to, 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 to do that. But um, anyway. We're on the good side of it, luckily. So, um, from last year to this year, um, I don't recall, I don't have it in front of me, how much the increase was in the SPED budget. Do 
you know that off the top of your head? I don't have it off the top of my head. I can I, I, I can look it up here, but I don't, I don't have it right now. But was there an increase, do you recall? Actually, there was a decrease in the SPED budget, actually. Okay. Uh, tuition went up uh, more, and we had more students. But the SPED budget actually went down, at least in the middle school. I don't know if it went down in the high school. So, so, so now we have this money. And so what we're going to be, a couple things are going to be done. First of all, um, the the um, the budgeting is going to be much tighter going, going forward. And with uh, and the other thing on special ed is we always want to have a cushion, a little bit of a cushion, because you never know what's going to happen with special ed. So so again, it wasn't cause for alarm when we had enough money, more than enough money. Um, maybe I missed it. How much money are we talking about? About 125,000, somewhere around that range. Again, we're not going to know again until we get the final. Okay. Uh, out of the total budget of. For special ed? At, yeah, at March 4th. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, if it's 2%, it's, you know, de minimis. If it's 40%, it's very significant. Maybe it says here. For special ed? Well, I don't know if I can break down. Right? 1.13. And that's, and, that's, and that's for Marshall, correct? Mm -hmm. No, that's just no, special it's education. In so total. It's in total. You don't have it broken down or not? No, I didn't. No, no, it's not broken down there. Okay, no, but it's broken okay down. and this 100000 you're talking about, is that on top of the 108000 that you've already put aside, plus the 15000 you're given the teachers, plus the twenty five or six um, that you've given you're, you're for the new Bathroom? You're jumping a little bit ahead, Charlie, but yes. No, but those have already been approved. No, no, well, uh, no, they haven't, but um, not all of them have, but you're right. We did set aside money earlier this year for the bathrooms. Yeah. We encumbered money earlier yeah. this year for the bathrooms. Um, and so this, this money that I'm telling you about right now is new. We learned about it for the first time in, in, our, in our April meeting, mm -hmm. our March and April meeting. So, we sort of came through. So, so this is on top of that. So yes, we have... Um, more money in the budget than we were anticipating to have at this point. And from, we are going to use some of that money. The school is going to use some of that money. We're going to um, build a shed. We're going to do some technology. So we're going to get out ahead of our technology plan, our five-year technology plan. We're going to replace uh, smart boards this year. <coughs> we did not expect to replace until next year. So we're going to get out ahead of our technology plan uh, that's been out there for people to look at. We're going to replace the windows in the annex. And everyone's going to be really surprised to hear this, but God bless asbestos in the 60s, there's asbestos in the window caulking. So there will be mitigation going on with the windows when they get replaced in the annex. I know. So it's like, you know, we, we, we can always say, well, as far as we know, the asbestos is all gone, but it is not. Follow up. Uh, did you ever find out what happened to one of the smart boards that summer? So, so I'm gonna, I, no. get, I wanna stay on topic and continue this discussion okay. for, for specifics uh, of, uh, to that nature. I kinda wanna keep that to a minimum. All right, so we, we can come back to some of that stuff if there's time. Um, uh, anyway, so, th so those are some of the things that we're going to be using uh, some of this money on. We fully anticipate returning to the town that's uh, close to $100,000 to, to returning it back. We're not going to spend it down uh, to that. that that's, our, that's our anticipation. Um, so how, so they did this IBEA study, and there was a lot of things on that list. Mm -hmm. How do the smart board, getting ahead of the smart boards, with the smart boards and technology, seem to be a higher priority than going through that list of needs, needs for the building? Excellent, because that's my next point. I'm so glad you brought that up. Perfect timing. All right, so one of the other things that we definitively learned at our April school board meeting that we had been asking for quite a while to get sort of really defined for us um, is we ha every year when we have extra money, we put a warrant article out asking the town to put some of that extra money into a, uh, a capital reserve building fund. And, and we've tried to find out if, that, if we can use that like a CIP fund. In other words, we put money in so that when we have to replace the roof or the boiler or some of those items that were on the IEB uh, study, 
that are big ticket items that we will have money put away for. And we've actually had, ans the answers have swung back and forth, back and forth. And um, we now have a definitive answer. The simplest way to define it is yes, it can be used like a CIP fund. It is meant to be a reserve fund to save money for, not for a rainy day, not for an emergency, but to actually put money aside to do the big ticket items in the school. But you're going to need a vote. We, oh yeah, it's just like the CIP fund. We vote to put money in, and we vote to take money out. So it would be planned. It, it would actually be planned. It has to be used for planned things, like a new roof. And along with that, just so um, they, uh, one of, as the budget rep this year, I intend to sit on the CIP uh, committee if it's still meeting. And I, and I just hope, the, I don't know if there's anyone here. I think a couple of you here are on it. And if you all could just uh, get my name on the list. Um, I, I, I was going to ask later on in the meeting for the CIP. Okay. All right. So, so, uh, so that so that we can then get the school big ticket items because they are starting to be identified now. Uh, it, get those on there so that we can see what we're putting this money away for. Michelle Spears. Um, can you? You said that it's not to be used for an emergency. I thought at the, unless I'm confused, but I thought at the de, the description of it. The whole purpose of it was for when the roof caved in unexpectedly. So now yes, you're saying it's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. Now it can be used for an emergency, but so but, it can be. but but again, it has to be voted to on right. to be used that way. But but it but the part that the the school board had not been clear on up until very very recently is that we can use it as a as a fund to put money in for not not just for an emergency, but to replace a roof to replace a boiler, to, uh, to do those kinds of things. Oh, that just to follow up. Um, so it can be used for both emergency or planned. Anything building related. Okay. Thank and you. Vern is next. So functionally, it's the same as it was before. You just changed it from building reserve fund to a SIP fund. Yeah, I mean, it is a, functionally it's, it's, it's still going to be called a building reserve <laughs> fund. It can be used for anything for the building. But it's nothing is functionally changed. Correct. You're still going to need a vote that, to withdraw. That is correct. We're going to need a vote to put it in. We're going to need a vote to take it out. Right. So functionally, it hasn't changed. It has not changed. It's just in the heads of how it can be used. Now, now we realize we can start saving for for a new roof. We didn't realize that. But the board did not realize that before. You mean for a specific task or a specific function? Yeah, yeah, for big ticket items that are coming down the pike. Yep. I'm just curious, who provided the definitive or the change of? We got it from the SAU office. They went back to a 1990 something um, or 2000 something uh, um, town meeting, um, where I, and, and I did not bring it with me. I don't. I don't believe I brought it with me. But it's love. It's beautifully highlighted. Uh, where it quotes uh, Ed Jansen speaking about it and other people about this is definitely how it is to be used. So, so we do, they do have, they, they found it, they found the minutes, they highlighted them. And, uh, so two questions. One is, um, should we have a legal opinion on that? And the second one is, is um, so when do you intend to have a, a vote to withdraw that money? Oh, not for a number of years. We, we do have big ticket items coming down the pike. Uh, um, we have uh, a new roof will be coming in four or five years probably, but we want to put money into it. We want to build it up. So just to follow up. Sure. Is so you have the surplus dollars. Um, so back to the original question, how does technology take precedence over the building needs? It, it doesn't, but we don't, but we don't have, uh, we don't have, um, if we had a $100,000 building need right this minute to put it into, we would, but we, but we don't have that right now. So I, I have a copy of the IBEA study, and there was a lot of things, small things, on that study. Mm -hmm. that and quite a few probably of those fall into small that. things have probably been done. I mean, we need to go through it again. But uh, I mean, we can talk about it. But uh, you know, we're following our facilities uh, uh, manager's um, recommendations on those things. Well, I mean, my own opinion is that technology is related to the delivery of education to your students. Whereas the bill, I mean, you know, you need a safe building, you need a building that comes up to code, but the technology actually addresses the, the your, pro, your programmatic efforts <laughs> as opposed to. Do you buy a TV before you fix a door? Yeah, right. So we're going to stay on topic. So go ahead, Bill. Um, just sort of a, a comment. I, I applaud your the school board's intention to return. To, um, I'm, I'm hoping a large chunk of that money to mm -hmm. the town. 
I, I really do. I think that will, will go a long way to, um, to be good. I'll leave it at that. I, I think there are many needs, but, you know, I think <clears throat> the school, um, a lot of money's been spent on the school, and the town has been generous, I think, to the, to the school and, and doing what needs to be done. And I think now we've, we've made this determination that's come up. I think it would be a, a, a very good um, sign or show for a good chunk of that to come back to the town and say, look, this is what we have, and we, we're making the, the changes to um, do our budgeting better from the um, from Marshwood or whatever, and we have this money extra, and here it comes back to the town. So, my two cents. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so if I understood you correctly, you're proposing in the next cycle or budget cycle or whatever, that you will make a deposit into that account as well as a percentage if there's money left over? Is that no, what you're no, 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 it always has to be by warrants. It always, and, and, they, okay. and they ask warrants not to be by percentage. We tried to do that a couple years ago, and our legal counsel said, no, no, we don't want you to do it by percentage. We want you to put an actual dollar value on it. So the town knows exactly how much is going in. So going forward, uh, next year, next budget cycle, we do not anticipate asking to put any money into the special ed reserve fund. It, it, will, it right now is about at about 100, with, with what's going in this year, there's about $155,000 and we figure uh, right now um, that might, you know, it, it, would I like to see it a little bit higher? Yes, but I think it's enough for emergencies at $155,000. So we'll not be asking to put money in there, but had we known we were going to have this much excess, we would have asked for a lot more into the uh, into the building reserve funds. Okay, but you put a, you put a dollar amount into that. Yes. Right? Only if there was the money available at the end yes. of the year. But Correct. So Correct. is that you're still the way you're going to handle yes. any, any... Because that's an uncertainty, yes. whether or not you're going to have money put in because right. you don't know if you're going to have leftover. Right. So is it your... I see what you're saying. You're saying, well, might we at some point say, have if we don't have dollar money left over, say, at, like the town does, say uh, that we want to put $50,000 into uh, this and, and, and amount to be raised by taxation? Right. Perhaps. Right. And, and it may come to that. Right now, we are not anticipating. We're not anticipating that for next year. Okay. Thank you. But I don't know what's going to come down the pike after that. Okay. So I, I'm going to ask a question, question to the Budget Committee as, we, as we're having this discussion. I think Denise brings up a good point. So as a budget committee, is our direction to the school going to be to continue this fund as an excess fund, right, if they have money at the end of the year? Or would we like the, the school to manage their CIP like the town does, where the expectation is that they are going to raise money to put into it for these bigger picture items? So if, if the budget committee wants them to, to raise it by taxation to put into the account like we do for the town, now is the time to tell the school that because they can make those adjustments for the next <coughs> cycle of elections. Go ahead. Denise. Okay, being on CIP, I think when you when you have a CIP program, you, you have already identified what you need um, and how long it takes you to get that money. So if, it, if, if it's a huge project, like roofing the whole school, mm -hmm. I would have it handled that you would do it through CIP and not at um, a dollar amount if, in case you yes. have leftover. Mm -hmm. but, if, but I think also, in case you have leftover, fixes some of the other things that you you potentially, like broken windows or you know something like that. That, that. It depends what the value is going to be, I think, whether or not you're going to do one or the other. And that would have to be what this, the school will have to make that decision, mm -hmm. you know, how you're going to handle it. Maybe one year do CIP, and then the next year do you know, if there's money left over, this amount going in there, you know. Yeah, I mean, as many of you know, it's difficult because we're doing our budget um, 18, almost 18 months ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Unlike the town that's, that's actually doing their budget after they're actually in the budget year that they're spending it in, we have to, we have to try to project what we're going to need 18 months ahead. And, and, and that, of course, again, has been part of the problem with catching up with what we're budgeting for special ed. We, we, had, we, we had came up with our second year's budget after we hadn't even been billed yet for special ed. So, and that's the year we're in now where we have all this more sort of extra money for special ed. We, we, we built the budget before we even received one bill from Marshwood for special ed. So um, it, it, it's a difficult process. 
Um, so I, I like what I'm hearing here. I mean, I don't, I don't think, the, I, and I'll come back and ask, and maybe Alan will help me remember that we'll come back and ask this at various times throughout, but this is why it'd be good, I think, for me to sit on the CIP, see how that works, see how all that works, and, and see how we can pull that together. Yeah, and I think there was an intent by the, the Capital Improvement Committee to incorporate the school mm -hmm. as well. So, um, you know, because I, it's, it's, it's all the same pot of money, so mm -hmm. we should all be aware. And, and those items, even though they're, they're school items, they're still items for the town. Those should be listed on the CIP so that, yeah, so that we have right. those and we can, you know, we can look at this and say, here's what we need. So um, I welcome your joining me, CIP. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to comment. I can't, maybe somebody else can remember better, but I don't remember a year in my recent memory that we haven't had something left over to put into a fund at the end of the school year. Does anybody remember? <coughs> there, there was one, uh, the, year, the year that we were allowed to, the first year that we were allowed to, um, I forget what it was called, retain mm -hmm. and carry over, um, retain, but for emergencies, the 2.5%. That year we had very little, actually. The very first year that was allowed, we had very, very little. But, but there was something. But, but, but there was something. Yeah. Yeah. Prior years, um, before that fund was around, there was money going back to the town. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> so I guess my point is, is I'm a little hesitant to have a taxation created fund and a leftover fund because the leftover fund was supposed to alleviate, you know, instead of putting it into the general fund, it was supposed to alleviate the taxation coming down the pipe. So I'm, I'm afraid we'd have two, taking the leftover, which is great, and then, but also adding another line item for taxation for the school, I think, is going to be a hard sell, and that's just my opinion. But sure, so I also don't think we're actually going to go one, two, three. But I'm going to go first. Just I want to make sure that what I said was clear. Um, my what I was asking the budget committee about was not having two lines. It was changing the line from putting in leftover to actually putting in a dollar amount. So there would be no more leftover. The leftover would come back to the town. Right, so instead of having this fund to, to move it to. But either way, just, just for the point of clarification on that, we'll go ahead. Okay, once in the last 40 years, we've had to have a special meeting for the school because of special ed. And that was the only time I know that we went over budget and we had a special meeting and it got approved. Yeah, no, I, I was just going to really kind of say what no. both of you were saying, that I, I would prefer to see a thoughtful one line. This is what we want to. We think we want to put in a CIP type of fund and let any surplus for that year bleed back or go back right into the general fund. Nice. All right. Um, so how much is the building reserve fund now? And, and <clears throat> as I recall, going back over the last several years, the taxpayers have always contributed to that fund. So I don't think there's ever been an issue getting money into that fund. Right. Right now, it's one hundred and three thousand. Oh, go ahead. Um, so I think at least the last three or three years or so, the taxpayers have approved um, that appropriation. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And we've only accumulated 103. Mm -hmm. we've, we've kept them at, at, at relatively small amounts, 25,000. That's the way we call. Any other questions on that? We have a few other things. The other things. Please good, continue. Good, good conversations, though. Um, one of the things we've realized that it's probably time to do to get our, our ducks in a row um, is, is to, we're going to, this year the school board will start to explore the, uh, both the educational and the financial impact of perhaps sending our sixth grade students to Marshwood. We, uh, we have no preconceived notions. We simply want to know what, if indeed, if indeed it will cost us more, if it will cost us less. Or and, and what the educational impact is on our students, but we are about to undertake that um, that exploration. Uh, and Marshall doesn't even know about this yet. They'll be learning about it on the on the uh, tenth. So please come to the joint meeting if you get time to do that. And the last thing I want to talk about, um, 
to this evening, and, and I hope folks will, will jump in. I know you're not shy, so you probably will. Is that we have, at the moment, we have sort of a growing liability in this town with, with the school. And the liability is that we have not passed uh, collective bargaining agreements consistently over the past nine years. In the past nine years, we have not passed a collective bargaining agreement for six of those years. And three out of the last four, we have not passed them. This means that this board, following the direction of this committee made up of different people, some of you were on it, but some of you were different, can't mention to the school board, you know, don't hire at the top of the scale when, when you get somebody. Don't, don't, don't hire at the top of the step ladder. Um, higher or lower, they're cheaper. And that's true, they are. They're less, less experienced and they're cheaper. But they also fully expect, because this is how teachers are paid, they expect every year to get that step increase. We now have, as right now today, we have five teachers who are, who are off, who are not on the correct step that they should be on. It, it is about, I believe, to start impacting us as a school board to be able to both attract and retain uh, teachers who, will be, who, who, who at this point are the teachers who have, who have saved in the Rollins for Grade School budget, who have saved us money, over $100,000 last year, uh, over $300,000 this year. Um, that, that's, that's an amazing amount of money that they have helped us save the town by, by right-sizing our teachers. You know, we don't, we don't carry any, any extra teachers at this point. By right-sizing education, meaning we have teachers now, we don't hire teachers who say, I'm a sixth grade teacher. We hire teachers who say, I'm an elementary school teacher, and if you need me because you have a bubble of kids going through second grade, I'll be a second grade teacher. And if next year I have to be a third grade teacher, I'll be a third grade teacher. And by the way, then we have a big kindergarten class coming in, then I'll be a kid. So these folks are saving us money. And I feel very passionate about this, is that they should, they should be able to be paid what they sort of expected coming in. We have, we as a town, can choose without a collecting, collective bargaining agreement, we as a town can choose to start chipping away at what I believe is a liability in this town. We could say, and the school board, and the school board would like to do it with budget committee approval to do it, the school board could say, we will give those five teachers one step this year. One step. It would cost less than $14,000. We could do that. We can do that. And so I'm just, I'm putting this out as a suggestion. That this is something we can do to chip away at a liability. Now all of you know that the liability is closer to $50,000. Right now, on the books, as of today, the liability is about $50,000. But we could start chipping away at it. So we're going to build first? Um, I think myself included, that we did a poor job of selling that agreement. And it, you know my feelings on it. I, I thought it should have passed, but we did a poor job of educating the town of how much money we would save. So mm -hmm. my thought is, you know, obviously you have to go back to the table, and I know that's a pain because it's a lot of work that everybody puts into that. But we need to get that agreement, a similar agreement for this year, and we need to push it, and we need to sell it, and we need to show the town that by approving this, here's what we're going to save, because that's the that's what people understand, and I don't think they got it this past time. All they saw was twenty one thousand dollars. They're going to get no, and that's that's the way it went. And we have to do better. We have to say, you're you're right. It's twenty one thousand dollars, but this is what it's going to save us in the years out. And and, and, and while I while I like what you're saying there, Bill, um, what if the teachers are even willing to make such sure. an agreement with us again, it's not going to be $21,000. Oh, I know. It's going to be another $15,000 on top of that. Exactly, because, which is the Because point. Until, until, we, until we start chipping away at the liability, right. it becomes much more difficult. I agree with you, and, and you're right. That's, that's going to happen. So we got to sell it hard and, and make everybody aware this is what it means. And, you know, We've been short-sighted in this town for a long time, and this, in my opinion, was again the same thing, short-sighted. No, 
Whereas down the road, this this would have saved us a lot of money. So, where's my uh, Apparently, the taxpayers disagree, and they say, "No, we don't like this." But I have another question. That is, you're going around a collective bargaining unit to give people in the collective bargaining unit money. Isn't that an unfair labor practice? No, it is. It, it is legal for us to do it. I would like an opinion from we, we, a we, labor lawyer we, on we, that. We, so, because I think it's an unfair it labor. It is a legal act. thing to do, and I'm just putting it out as as, as a suggestion here. Right. So, so I'm actually going to, uh, as the chair, going to have some conversation about legal opinions. So I asked for uh, two or three legal opinions last year, and I never received them. So, in this particular case, this is a school matter that the school can make a decision on with school's legal opinion. And as the chair, without a vote from this committee saying go get a legal opinion, I'm going to expect the school board to handle this as a school board, not as a budget committee issue. So I think that the advice from Vern it should be heeded. I think that that's a smart idea to get a legal opinion and move forward with it, but that is a school issue. Um, that being said, let's move on to Kim. <clears throat> so. I think that we should not circumvent what the voters chose. Um, you know, you say we're saving, others saving us money, but yet we haven't really seen a decrease in the salaries for the teachers. Well, we have $100,000 in salary savings alone this year. Salary savings alone this year because, because we did not replace a teacher. That comes with right-sizing the teachers. Teachers, and now are you saying the teachers have not taken a cut in salary? That is true. And the other thing I'd like to point out is now we are in our second year at Marshwood. Next year, this year, that the budget that the budget that we have and that was voted now it's in Marshwood, our first year, the teachers there received a 1.5 percent increase. This year, they received a 2 percent increase. And next year, the budget that, that we just passed, the budget that just passed, they're receiving a 2.5 percent increase. Well, our teachers are not only getting an increase, they not, are not getting steps for any of those three years. That, to me, is, is something that, that may, may, if the larger town doesn't understand, I'm hoping a smaller group of us will understand and will make an effort to start chipping away at, 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 at something that is indeed a liability because it's going to be very difficult to get the union to, to come back to the table and, and try to try to get something that's worthwhile. Okay. So just to follow up, um, so um, you, you made a comment that the new teachers are saving us money. The only way we saved money was because somebody resigned. That's my first point. My second point is, is I still think it's kind of underhanded to not um, respect what the voters um, voted for. And then my last point is, um, I'll say the same thing I said about the town employees. Don't add it to their base. Give them a bonus, one-time bonus. You know, not a long-term expense. All right. So there's, we're, we, we're gonna, I'm going to keep the back and forth going on points because points are great. But we're going to go to Denise first. Okay. I, I, that's what I, your bonus is what I was thinking. Are you proposing, or not proposing, but bringing it for discussion, that a step will be given to the teachers? On a temporary basis, like this year, they'll get that money, but they'll stay on the same step level that they were on. No, I'm proposing that they have to be granted a step. I don't, I don't even see how that's legal. To be honest with you, that that just does not sound right to me. I'm sorry. The, the bargaining the agreement failed. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to a bonus to get them to, but to change their step, I don't think that that. I, I would like a legal opinion on that. I, I agree with Denise. I, th I think this yes. is an unfair labor practice. I think public employee labor relations so board we're actually going to go over will to tell you so. Suzanne, what's next? Well, the, the, it, it borders on unconscionable to me that, you know, if I were going to have taken a job at the Rollinsford um, School District, knowing that this contract had step increases. So for every year that I increased my experience and provided more value to the town, I could expect a step increase. And to not get that, it is a really difficult thing. And I, I agree with you, Bill. I think we just didn't do a good enough job with the town because I believe if the town understood that, the vote would have been different. And I believe if the budget committee had understood that, the vote would have been different. The fact that this budget committee chose, I think it was a tie vote, it was. So, so it showed up the way it showed up that that would have made a difference too. We're talking about people who are working for a living 
that are at a step one, they should be at a step five because they now have four more years experience, or they have three more years experience, or two more years experience. I just don't think it's fair. Thank you. Go ahead, and, and the other thing with that is understanding the collective bargaining agreement. I mean, to me, the, the steps and everything else, that's a minor issue. The key issue is the health care costs. The health care costs, the health care costs, the health care costs. Mm -hmm. You can put everything aside, but if we can control the health care costs, everything else fall, or other things will fall into place. So, you know, it may cost us money to, you know, get the lower health care cost plan in, in place. And if it does, that's a that's cost of doing business. That's collective bargaining. You can't get everything. You've got to give something. And I, I feel, you know, again, my opinion was this was a good deal. If, you know, we had given, okay, we may not like it. People may have to hold their nose and say, geez, I really don't like them getting that step raise or something. But, you know, we control the health care costs because that, I think, is the big, that, that's the big cost driver. So before I go to Kim, I, so I don't want to talk about the same things over and over again. I think Judy has asked a couple of questions of the budget committee. Right. The, the first point she made was there was a prior budget committee who tasked the school with hiring less experienced teachers lower in the steps. They didn't task them, but they suggested it. Is this budget committee saying that they would not like to follow that practice? They would like to hire uh, or, or suggest to the school that they hire more experienced teachers so that way we don't have to deal with the fluctuations in budget numbers. That, that's question one. Question number two is, this budget committee last year decided to, to have a tie vote, but <coughs> not recommending the, the negotiated contract. This budget committee can help steer what that <coughs> negotiates with the, with the union. So does the budget committee have some suggestions <coughs> to the school? I think Bill brings up a good point. We would like to, to look at options in health care, right? As a negotiated agreement, that's two-sided. <coughs> what does the budget committee okay. feel should be given as we're receiving the, the change in health care? Uh, what I've heard so far tonight is we're looking for, for teachers to take a pay cut. That's, that's what I heard indirectly. Is that what the budget committee is asking? No. 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 So is the budget committee asking to leave the teachers at their current salary for how long? What, what is the time period that we're looking for? I understand the bonus aspect of it. Right? But we're not in 2008 anymore. Right? Our economy is no longer in a recession. So are we, are we asking the school, right, as a budget committee, to have zero increases in just pay out bonuses? No. To not bring teachers up to their current steps? No. Okay. So we're not saying that. So let's go to Vern and let's, let's talk about what are you saying. Okay, first of all, nobody said hire inexperienced teachers. They said take a good look at what you can get if you were to hire, and it's very subjective, what would happen if you looked at candidates who were not as far up on the step scale? So I think it's safe to say that. They didn't say right. hire cheaper people or less right. experienced. But I think it's safe to say that they evaluated that, and they found that that was of value, and so they hired <coughs> less experienced teachers lower in the step scale, which is what we're dealing with right now. And I'm not saying that that's good or bad, Sometimes it's great to bring in less experience because you can do different things. So not saying that's good or bad or what the, the board tasked with, but that's the impression of the school board today. Do we want to change Well, that? that's the wrong impression. Okay. What At is, least from what I saw, okay. that was not the intention. It was more a manage your staff. You may have to cut out another teacher. You may have to hire someone who's perhaps, instead of at the top of their level, Maybe two thirds of the way up. Consider that. So just so just so consider you, it, not require. It. Just for the record to show, taking someone who's two thirds of the way up to the step is less experience. So right. that that's what we're so so you and I just may be using different words. <coughs> using three quarters up the step, I'm using experience because the experience is the step. Right. But either way, same idea. But carry on, please. Thank you. <clears throat> and then we've got boom boom. I, I just, the characterization, I, I don't agree with it at all, and I, I want that on the table. That's not what we said, that's not what people in the audience said, and I, I just don't think that's appropriate. Very well. Yeah. 
Um, so I, I have to, I agree with Bill, um, and it wasn't, honestly, it wasn't clear to me how spending more money in salaries um, saved money um, for health care. So a longer projection, a better explanation of how those numbers worked, except for this year, would have been helpful to me. I, mean, I, I did provide that to the budget committee. I, I showed that there, there would be about $200,000 worth of savings over the next uh, five years. I, I, what I didn't see, though, was kind of where we're starting for a baseline and where we would end up in both cases. So um, more analysis for information for me would have been helpful. Um, in terms of you know, where we should hire teachers. I think it's more about being considerate of the people in town who are paying the taxes and trying to work within the budget, um, a salary budget that makes sense. So, you know, maybe you have some more senior people, maybe you have some younger people, which is kind of nice because younger people bring... And that's exactly what we have now. It's perfect. You're right. It's an so excellent mix. I'm not saying that we should chief out. I'm saying that we should work within the budget. And, and we have an excellent mix right now. And, and it, it is, but is these younger people, the younger teachers coming in, the less experienced teachers coming in, who have been able to help actually the more experienced teachers deliver the the type of education that allows us to be flexible and save money for the town. So um, I think we're we're having a great discussion tonight, but I'm trying to stay on budget topics as you. they are. And, and Denise is up next, and then I'll okay. One of the things that I think is the hardest thing to sell, because as you know, I was one of the negotiators for years is that the, tw the steps and the tracks are 5% each. Mm -hmm. This way and this way. I mean, so that is, that's 10% if, you, if you're getting a track and you're getting a step, plus whatever if you could raise on top of that. That's, that's a big problem there. So maybe my suggestion is try to see if you can reduce that down by a percent, you know, one way or the other. One of the other things is they, um, a track is given whether you have a contract or not, correct? Mm -hmm. Have you checked to see if a step can be given if whether or not you have a contract or not? It depends on how the contract is written. For instance, Dover gives steps even if they don't have uh, a, 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 an effective collective bargaining agreement. Uh, ours is written that it is not given. And maybe that's something that we should try to put as part of the next negotiation session as well. So then that part of it isn't part of the negotiations anymore, only the increased salaries. Possibility. Karen, excuse me. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I was going to say other, other than, um, you know, the, the, those young people that we have hired as teachers are those people who are now being disadvantaged because we have not given them any additional salary dollars for the additional years of experience that they have delivered to the town. That's the part that I find really difficult. I don't have a, an answer because you can't force a, a collective bargaining unit to come to the table. And, you know, we can say what we want, but the, the bargaining is going to happen with the school board. It's not going to come from us. Okay, I think we're going to go one more comment just, from Bill here. Just, and then. So what you said, Suzanne, you know, but that's also part of the collective bargaining thing. You know, they have to, you know, if we don't settle a contract, they, those steps don't go up. So, you know, when they sit down at the table, that gives them incentive to you know, to bargain. So I hear what you're saying, and I I understand that that you know it's it's bad that we haven't done that, but that's that's part of the whole collective bargaining agreement, good and bad on both sides, and you know. So all right. So with that, I think we've had great discussion. I'm going to let Judy wrap up whatever else she has left here, and then we're going to move on to the town. Yeah, I'm pretty much wrapped up. Uh, I believe if if I if I have heard the the. the the voices around the table uh, that you are not in favor right now at this point uh, in at this point in the year of um, offering if it's legal of offering uh, the teachers that are off step um, that you uh, uh, so I would take a vote I, I so, don't know so, yeah. so, 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 we, uh, so again let, let, me, let me say it again we have the ability to chip away at these six years that steps have not been given in the past nine and I believe the longest, uh, the deepest someone is off step is five. Uh, I am only suggesting that we give one step to the five teachers that are off, it, 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 if, if indeed the budget committee agreed to do that and if it was legal to do so. Um, I, I, think it, I think it helps us bring the union back to the table 
to negotiate, and I think and I think it, it, it it's a relatively low cost. So, so I will entertain a motion of a recommendation from the budget committee. All it is is a recommendation that pending legal opinion and uh, a, a satisfactory vote from the, the budget committee that uh, the school would move forward with with um, increasing the step of these teachers who are off, off step at the moment. That would be my entertaining. Bill? I don't think it's our place to do that as a budget committee. I, I just don't, and, and, I, and I really think it's a, I, I don't think it's legal. Right, so, I think so, it's a collective bargaining issue. So okay. I'm on board with, with I hear it, but I'm, I'm entertaining a motion. Do I have a motion to recommend or not recommend uh, the school make this decision pending legal and? Can I point a point? Sure. I mean, I think I sort of agree. I'm not sure that it's it's for the budget committee to, to recommend. I think this is right. a school, school board so decision. If they feel that they want to. School board has bottom line authority. Yeah. That has always been the case. Right, so, so I don't think but that the school presence. is asking for permission. They would like to know the will of the budget committee. Yes. That's my understanding, yes. correct? So I, I don't want to overspeak. So uh, last call, I'll entertain a motion or not. Um, I'll move. But no, no points. It's a motion or, and then we can discuss. Then I'll challenge the chair. So you haven't closed it. Um, so I haven't opened it because I'm looking for I a move. name. I move. Thank you. I so moved. All right, is there a second? No, we have a second. Now we can have some discussion about this motion. The motion, the motion is to recommend that the uh, school board to support the school to board. support the school board, but it's to, to Grant, give Grant, our granting, support. Granting uh, one step to each of the five teachers that are off step. If that's legal. If it's legal, correct. I, I think there are too many contingencies on this. I think it's a bad idea. Okay, so we're going to go to Kim. Oh, actually, I think Nancy. Sorry, Nancy was first. My question is, is when the step that you want to give, is it in the current budget we're on right now? Because you don't, haven't you already approved bonuses and merits in this? We, have, we No. The 15th? We have, we have not approved them. We have not, we have not granted them. But it was approved in a non-public. It was approved in non-public. It would be preferable to give a step. And it would it, it would cost less. But this it would be this year. This year. Right, so, um, so I'm going personally I'm going to recommend against this, but I will um, offer um, again the suggestion that perhaps you could give them um, a bonus, not a five percent bonus, um, maybe half of that um, as an act of good faith. If we're going to do anything, I might be voting for that. Any additional conversation? discussion on this? Denise? And Unfortunately, no, I don't think that we're getting all the information because if something was already been taken care of about bonuses and it, it wasn't... It's very much up in the air. The, bo the, board, the board in a non-public session came out of non-public and said that, that, that again, th that we would consider giving bonuses to, 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 to the teachers, the, the five teachers that are off. Just a step. Yes. Um, as, as because they've done this exemplary work getting us getting the school to you know, their merit bonuses. Okay, so I'd like to I'd like to call this. So no, Vern, no. go ahead, go ahead. Vern. Then what do you need our recommendation for? You've already made your decision. Support, not a, a, a step, a, a, a support, a, a step. Putting someone one step closer to being on their step is a much better. Why do you need our recommendation? Hmm? Why do you need? This committee's recommendation. To get, we, we, well, it, it, would, it would be nice to have a, a broader group of people say that this is, this is probably a good thing to do for the teachers. It just, it's just going to have a broader thing. Okay. That being said, we're going to call this. And so, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, can we have a roll, roll call, call, please? We can well, absolutely well, we can say what we're voting on again as well. Right. So, what we're voting on is to say that the budget committee is in favor of the school board making um, the, the five teachers who are off step uh, one step closer to the step that they should be on. Um, we do not have the authority to make that decision for the school board. We're simply providing them that we think that this is a good idea and in the best interest of the town. Um, and, and as a budget committee, I think it's a monetary thing that the school has asked us to do. Right. So that's 
that's what we're voting on. It was requested that we do a roll call vote. We're going to start with Dennis, and we're going to go right around the, the room. So, Dennis? No. no. I'm in favor of bonuses, but not the 5% step, so I get a vote no, unfortunately. Yes. I've got to say no, because I just don't, I think we're going against. It's all right, no. 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 No on the step. Yes. No. 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 Yes. All right. Wait. Did you get Let's get the count. And do we have the names of who voted what? Did uh, you I'll get out. Okay. No so three yes and the rest no. So it fails. No. Uh, it was just a suggestion. Uh, but okay. So we're done with the school. Thank you all for your discussion. And and you may hear you may hear you may hear this again at some point. So now we're going to entertain questions from the school uh, from the budget committee to the school. And okay. we're going to start with you. All right. Really, what I want to know is where are you monetarily in the, the year? You closed your third quarter, yep. right, for last year, and where are we? Are we good? Are we bad? Are we overexpended? Are we? We're, except, we're in an exceptionally good position because okay. because we've been we've been putting aside more money for special education okay. and Marshall than we need to. We're, we're in exceptionally good shape. All right. Okay. We're so in exceptionally good shape in the school. Nothing um, out of balance lines that are overexpended or where we're looking at having difficulty to close the year? We, we have no difficulty closing the year, and, we're, and we've added we've added some work to be done, as, as I mentioned early on. Okay. Well, can you speak to the um, significant overages in custodial, um, school board, and library? Um, two, 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 two is the library. Okay. Twelve thousand dollars over budget. Yeah, custodial at the moment is is about uh, as of our April one was about fifteen thousand over, and that had to do with a change in custodial staffing. Um, at the end of last year, you may recall we were going to go to uh, two part time uh, custodians. Uh, at the end, toward the end of last year, one of the custodians uh, left us. And we finished out the year with one full-time custodian, uh, one that are, well, two full-time custodians, uh, counting the, the facilities manager, and someone filling in part-time. We decided at the end of last year that that was working out well. The, the two full-time custodians, you, meaning, meaning that the, um, instead of three, the two full-time custodians plus someone filling in on the hours when you need two people there at a time. And so the school board voted to go forward with that, and that made a change in the um, in the um, health in the benefits, which is the reason, and that's the reason that there's a change there okay. for the for the custodian. And the other one you talked about was the library, um, library, library and school board. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know about the school board. <laughs> Get oh, oh I, I know, I know why. We haven't. I know what it is. We have not. We have not encumbered anything on the school board yet because we just got paid. You will see it come out in the next one. We haven't spent anything. The reason. The reason that already looks. I believe, if I'm if I'm looking at this correctly, yeah. The reason you see that almost four thousand dollars is that uh, that's a matching grant, and we have not yet received the match. As soon as the match comes in, that that goes away. Okay. Um, and then the last one is the um, library services. Library services. Yeah, the note here says the increase in staff weekly hours, and I think that's uh, on an hourly basis. So, how many hours is that? I don't know. They believe me, the hourly folks are not. Uh, they're, they're, they're paid somewhere between fifteen and eighteen dollars an hour. So, they're not yeah, just it's a significant overage um, for some unknown number of hours. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, well, it's not unknown. I just don't know it. I mean, it is known. Somebody knows it. I, I just don't know. Can you bring that back at the next meeting? Sure. Thanks. Any additional questions for the school? Go ahead. Um, on page one of the detail, I have it as um, the overspent on group life. That is over. That shows a big overspendage, but you, as you go down the budget and see, you have zero percent taken out line by line for um, individual, like the nurse. You didn't take any group life, 
and I'm wondering if what happened is, is it all went to the one line and you're taking nothing out of the other. It's, prob it's probably so. You probably mm -hmm. you probably hit it on the head, but um, and I will, I will take a look at that. I didn't, uh, I didn't catch that. That's group life, right? Yes. yes. Do you want the line item number? Sure. It's 10 1100 5215 0011. Okay, thank you. Let's jump before I need to see Um Let me see. Uh, I think that it is the, on the co curricular athletics, I also was looking at the, the you have there's been no money spent at all. That is correct. That is correct. We, we they were unable to find uh, coaches. Okay. okay. And the um, ELS mm -hmm. has not been spent at all. Is there no need? That's is that, correct. That was only spent if there's a need. Correct. There was only fifteen dollars spent for a, for a contracted service or something like that. Out of the Eight thousand or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it probably had to do with a, a test or something. Okay. Do you know any? Um, do you have any projection on enrollment increases um, for the Marshwood schools this coming year? For Marshwood schools, not counting Rollsford students, their enrollment is dropping. Marshwood. Marshwood enrollment is dropping. We are helping, and and, and their funding from the state has it has been severely cut for the coming year. No, I mean, are, are we projecting any additional students in this next coming year? Rollsford so students or Mar Oh, I'm sorry, well, I don't yeah. understand. Rollsford um, students going to Marshwood? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we will be, uh, we still have, um, this coming year we will uh, we, we will have full enrollment for, for five of the six classes that we sent. We will still have a senior class next year at uh, Summersworth. But our enrollment will go up because we will now have the, our full uh, junior class there. This year we do not have our full junior class there. Is that what you mean? No, let me rephrase the question. Yeah, I guess I don't understand what you mean. Are, are we, are we you expecting, uh, do we have any unexpected students coming in to, um, for Marshwood this year? It's very difficult to answer what might happen. Not that you know. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. All right. I got a question. Okay, 23-11, 53-20. School improvements. You have zero money balanced, but yet you spend five thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't have the uh, detail with me. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can get back to me next time. I, so you're saying that there's there's a zero balance? No, there was zero. The actual the actual adopted budget was zero, and the actual spending is five thousand seventy one dollars. Yeah, I would have to look at it. No, no, that's. No, what, what's the name? What's the name on the line again? School improvements. It's 2311, 5320. It's on page five of my handout. Okay. I have to go out on a limb and say school improvement to start. But, uh, all right. It, it, so, is there any other yes, additional sir. questions? Go. Oh. You, we got more coming from over here yeah. first. So, which one yeah, I got another one on uh, custodian equipment. That's 26, 21, 53, 31. Budget is 34,000. You spent 63. Say it again. Where is it? Custodian equipment. So on page 7, line 27. Yeah, I got another quick question. On lawn care, you spent no money? You didn't mow the lawn or nothing in July, July August, September? This is third quarter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah but you still would have had... This is third, this is third quarter. This third is quarter June. would have been December. This is, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. no it's not July. July. No, no, the school's third quarter is, is indeed January to April. That is true, yeah. which is what we're reporting on. But July, yeah. August... Is in this budget. Right, yeah. If you put a year to date figure. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what year, to date. A year to date. Is no, we actually, uh, our custodians actually use their own equipment many times and uh, they do it. They've been doing it. Okay. We do, we do, the school does two major cleanups a year. Yeah. 
So they probably haven't done them yet. They didn't want it in the spring. And I get two requests for next meeting to see what the special ed balance is and what the capital improvements balance is. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Would you like to know that? I mean, I. I sure. Yeah. That I That's do. with the 25 going in. Yep. That I do have with me. Okay, awesome. The uh, special ed balance um, after the um, FY18. Uh, Twenty-five thousand added was one five five one six zero, and the building with the twenty-five thousand added uh, in the last budget for FY eighteen is one zero three four five five. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we good. I think so. All right. Anyone yeah. else? Yeah, the school. Thing. All right. Seeing none. Uh, we'll move on from the school, but I'd like to entertain a motion to move the water and uh, sewer first before we mm -hmm. Anybody Anyone? needs copies of the water and sewer? It's right here. Bigger format. Need a motion. I think you can do that. I can? Yeah. All right. You guys are really less formal. Let's do it. <laughs> can, can this be sent next time? Why you need it? Yeah, I I picked it up at the meeting. Oh, it's okay. Never mind. I'm good. Does Vern have a digital copy? Then he can. That would be good then. But I don't. I mean, I I don't get one. Well, he oh, made what? himself a digital copy of the this the one that we just print, that the one that was printed up of the detail sheet. Yeah, we scan them. That'd be great, man. Could you could you take care of sending it out then? Isn't that really the school's responsibility to inform the budget committee? So so we're not going to get into back and forth, but I believe the school board met their requirement with the budget that they sent. If the budget committee is asking for additional details and someone pulled them up on their own time and shared them with the budget committee, I think that that's fine to do as well. And so I'm going to say if. if you would like to email them out to the group, you're welcome to. If not, that's fine too. Well, they can. Um, Keep everyone. But we're going to move on to the, the, the water and sewer at the moment. Go ahead, Dennis. All you're right. up. Right. Uh, the water looks good. Of course, it's the uh, first quarter. We still haven't had a lot of stuff come back in yet. But we're at 20.3%, which is very good. And uh, we're carrying over 31,926 from the meeting that we voted on to, uh, for the capital improvements for the water system. Hopefully we'll get our well finished within the next few weeks. It's getting close. It's getting close. Any questions on water? Oh, Vern was first in the bill. What do you want to do? Listen. Listen. Don't give me crap. Um, I mean, every month, every quarter when we meet, it's the well's going online, the well's going online, the well's going online. I presume it's totally constructed, tested, pumped, everything. What's the hold up? So who's the permit? Oh, it's the bureaucrats. Yeah. Okay. The permits. And they're just about done now. We're okay, we're right there. Okay. Everything's there. It's just a, do a flow test and the water quality yeah, test. Yeah. Those have all been done. It's the state. No. Okay. Do I need to say anymore? <laughs> I just want to know. It's not an engineering problem. It's not a no, structural no. problem. Everything it's a bureaucratic good. problem. Am I right? Be, uh, yeah. um, any issues that you foresee coming up that we need to be aware of for the upcoming year in terms of? I don't know, benzene, whatever, you know, uh, as much as you can tell. I mean, not going to no, benzene at Port of Well, that's where we have a problem. Arsenic's great, you know, we have a great system in there. But, and, and you've probably heard about South Berwick and all their arsenic yeah. problems, you know. Uh, they never had a system like we did. Arsenic is when you get into bedrock. Yeah. And we're 400 feet at Port of Well, so we're right in the bedrock. So, far, so good. we Everything have a great good. knock on wood, you know, you never know. Okay. <laughs> but no, we, uh, the benzene's is showing nothing, you know, so I think we can start running well, we're ready to run that 
that well in Florida on full time this summer you know, to relieve the general salt of the well. Okay. Right, so we're looking good. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Yeah. I got a quick question. With these new houses building up in the water district, does that affect you any? Not yet. How close no. to capacity are you? Oh, we got plenty of water. Plenty okay. Of water. I thought you had to go to... It's the sewer that we're okay. with, though. We don't know what the town's going to do, so mm -hmm. we're, uh, we're a little worried. We've got to meet with the town. Yeah. People so what happens if you got to go to the other... That's the sewer. If we yeah. have to get, we'll talk about that okay. when we get over there. I'm sorry all I right. jumped ahead. No, that's all right. Uh, any other questions? Huh? Come on. Yeah. All right, under the sewer. Great. Sewer is at 25.5%, which is good. Uh, of course, we don't spend a lot of money in the first quarter. We're, we're a late third quarter, fourth quarter spender, you know, because we don't know what the hell's going to happen. Don't forget that those that that uh, set, uh, that plant is. Uh, we still have um, running parts that are, that are from the 60s. You know, we haven't really done the whole plan over yet. And hopefully, we can get through, I can get through this in the next uh, five or six years. But eventually, uh, it'll come, you know. So we'll have to do some major renovations. The last major renovation we had there was in 2004. That was $1.4 million, but we had to put in a whole new headquarters. And uh, that bond, the headworks won't be paid until 2033. Wow. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so we got a long ride with this bond. 1.4 million? Yeah, 1.4. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, like I said, we got to talk to the select board, see what's going on downtown. And that blew them. If we have to stop running another ditch, we have one, one ditch we run all the time, and we go back and forth. We have to stop running two ditches. I don't almost say your sewer rates are going to double, you know? That's what I'm telling you. Everybody's worried about the water, but what about the four people on sewer, you know? It's not good. Uh, yeah. So I think Suzanne has some questions. Suzanne, what do you Well, it's not, it's not a question, but, you know, to... So when you say it depends on what the town is, you're talking about what might be Yes, what might be coming down the road, you know, like what's going into blue ones. Are there condos going in there upstairs? Are there restaurants well, going downstairs? Yeah. So it would be nice to have maybe a joint meeting, something we like that. We have to have a meeting. Yeah, that would be we great. Have to have I, a meeting. And I can't, I'll answer you know? what I know right now, mm -hmm. and that is that you, you, the town has voted to rezone it mm -hmm. so that they can put uh, residential units on yes. the top. But we, have not had, uh, and they, they need to go to the planning board. They've not yet gone mm -hmm. to the planning board, so we really don't know what the, the owner's plans are. We'd love to go to the planning board with you if you ever have, you know. Yeah, so, you know, you know, I mean, because and, and we're be interested in capacity, yeah. and you know, yeah. we we won't trouble the, the budget committee with this, but we're interested in, in how we can think about economic development in the village mm -hmm. and how with how it impacts well, the water and sewer. It would impact Michelle. I'm not on the sewer, so I don't know who else is. There's probably not too many people in here. So, so, yeah. so it's a good conversation yeah, to no, have. No. We would, like I said, we, we have about 329 users on sewer. That's not a lot. Hmm. And we've How many water? 520 something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what scares us right now. You know? Capacity Especially with sewer, not yeah. water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. We have to run nice. another ditch. And of course, you know, it's you know, so things are getting old. You know, all of a sudden, all this new stuff is old. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Well, I'm getting old. Can't get boring. Nowhere near close to retirement. The problem is there's no rectifying. So in there, the capital improvements to the plan were carrying over 38889 from last year. That's why you only have Any questions? I know our plowing, um, our plowing went over this year. We really, uh, mm. we're going to do a bidding out next year. It really hit us hard. We had a new guy and he was killing us. He won't kill us 
that's next year. <laughs> <laughs> next season, I should say. Any, any, <laughs> any questions for the sewer? Right. Seeing no questions on the sewer, we're going to move on to the town. We'll hand it over to Suzanne. Right. I do have some of the notes that I sent along in with the budget. If you have a budget, do you have notes as well? We have a budget. I'll just pass them around. So just as a show of hands, how many would like a printed output at the meeting? So really, if we just take five. Okay, so, so again, we're just, as Dennis said, we're in the first quarter, so things uh, don't have a chance to really group in the first quarter. Although I will say that one area where we are definitely overspent are in the winter related expenditures, uh, winter health and uh, salt in particular. So uh, in the coming months we will probably actually move budget, budget as we did last year from contingency into those lines because uh, we'll need them for when winter returns in the fall. Otherwise things are in reasonably good shape. I'm, I'm happy to answer questions. Some of the other things I put down in the notes are just some accounting things that haven't quite caught up yet with uh, how we're managing the, the lines. So conferences and dues, 443% over. Yeah, I think the same thing happened last year, that we mm -hmm. put something there that wasn't supposed to be there, so we we'll need it out. Miscategorization? Yes. And I would take up the mileage is related to that. Next line. Next line. Uh, oh, I'm getting there, sorry. Uh, possibly. I can I can look at that. Can I can I ask Good a idea. general question? Yeah. You're not doing this based on accrual accounting. You're doing this based on cash accounting, aren't you? Yes. The DRA would, wants the books to be on an accrual basis. You do not. Well, then maybe I'm incorrect. I'm not an accountant, so maybe I misspoke. Uh, well, we're doing things the way our auditor wants us to do them. Here, how does that sound? Okay. Um, I think you have, first of all, are all the payables in the system as of the end of the, uh, March? Yes. I think, yes. Okay. Yep. Tables, deposits. Yeah. I'm sorry, we kind of jumped Kim. I'm sorry. I'm not very good. Go so, it's like, um, uh, so, town clerk elections like 980% over? No, that, that was supposed to be salary, so that will be corrected. Some of that was salary. Um, oh, I see. So, uh, Ms. Cargill yes. is yeah. yeah. Unemployment compensation. Hold on, Bird and Firm. We're going to let Kim finish up. Oh, I get to go ahead. Yes, please. Um, let's see here. So, I all of so, um, so, lunches is almost completely expended. That's in the year, right? Yes, but we only have one election this year, and it's done. So, we only budgeted for one election. Okay. It's a March election. All right. So, you're not really expensive. There should be no more expenses, unless there's a special election for okay. some unforeseen reason. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Is it really only $2.50? It's just the propane. Now that we've got the propane uh, correctly going to the right spot, mm -hmm. maybe it's over budget. I don't know. We can continue to look at that. So 156% um, expended. Um, so you think oh, it's I think it's over budget. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I wasn't there yet. But, yeah, I mean, um, propane. You know, one, one load of propane can be expensive. Maybe this will last the rest of the year. I don't know. It's not a, the, the, it can be absorbed. We're not concerned about it. Um, do you anticipate that we'll just, um, just increase it a little more next year? Well, you know, Kim, it, 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 it will depend on, on how the ensuing quarters work out. Because it, it's pot, you know, I don't know how long this propane tank lasts. It may last a while. Oh, so I know for us, you know, you know, we'll do it once every three years, but mm -hmm. the year we do it, it's it's a lot. So, 
Advertising was 172%. Guessing, um, oh, do we have, um, and that's in the We're police department currently? Mm -hmm. yeah, do you have a line number? Right. Mm -hmm. 421-0720. Uh, you don't have an Excel, you don't have a row number. I, I you don't. Row number six. I'm sorry. Um, um, four, say it again. Give me the oh, account number again, please. Um, four, I'll type it page, page, page number six. Yeah, and it was line five, six, um, like six thousand. Yeah. What was the title inside? Okay. Yeah, that's we've had difficulty getting officers. So um, have we gotten an officer? Uh, we have one. Okay. We have one. Uh, he has not started the academy yet. Um, so he's now scheduled, I guess, for the next one, which is yeah. no, 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 August, I think. August. Yeah. 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 I, I want to interject on that the police department. So, so I've been on the budget committee two years now. We have a lot of as a school board rep. We seem to always be having an officer entering the academy. <coughs> is, it, is, are we cycling our police officers? Or are we not able to retain them? That's correct. These last Thank two or three years have been really difficult. Right. And why are we having such a difficulty? Well, our salary is not high. Right. It's it's mm -hmm. low in comparison to other towns, quite low in comparison to other towns. We're finding it's not just our uh, police department, uh, but we're finding that police policing is not as attractive a profession as it has been. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's just a sort of a political context. And so the combination uh, means that we're not. I, I want to be careful how I, I get where you're going. So, so my question is, uh, you know, the academy costs money, right? So no. we go. We have to pay the no. officer while they're going. Right. The so we no, don't get academy. to utilize that officer. Correct. That's, that's what I mean by yes. that. So opportunity cost. So would it be in the best interest of the town to increase some salary for these officers so we could start retaining them instead of constantly cycling new officers through the academy? Yes, absolutely. So we're it's it, it's the section that we're looking at very carefully this year. Excellent. It's expensive. Right. And the reason it's expensive is because that's where our employees are. Right. You know, you've got one tax collector, you've got one admin, you've got one road agent, you've got like you know five police officers, and the retirement is the the associated benefits cost is high for them because they're at a really high rate for the retirement. Gotcha. So so it's expensive, but you know definitely to. In order to provide the kind of policing that, yeah, that, that's you know, I mean, there is some talk from some of us about perhaps looking at other arrangements for policing. Mm -hmm. okay. But to the extent that we're going to have our own police, we need to ensure that they are paid because mm -hmm. it has an impact. Can you uh, can you actually compete with what's my no, you can't. no, you can't. But even, so we're, not, even we're, try? we're not doing well with New Durham, with mm -hmm. Milton. So, mm -hmm. so we look at some of these smaller towns. We're not, we're not expecting to, we're not expecting to be Portsmouth, but you know, you have to look at how you relate to some of these other towns. And I know that the lieutenant has brought us comparative figures, which we've shared with the budget committee. We didn't have any updated ones in our last cycle, but the cycle before we did. <coughs> Um, if it's on the police, I'll continue the conversation. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, it, it's, this is a nationwide thing. Nobody mm -hmm. wants a job anymore because yeah. of all many sure. of the issues. Sure. I believe Rochester just hired three that are going to the academy, but they were down seven, and it might have been nine. Mm -hmm. Nine people mm -hmm. they were down. So it's it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. And as long as I've been doing this since the early 80s, you know, it's the same thing. Competing with the bigger the bigger towns and communities is the name of the game. Um, you know, the guys and gals come on the job, and you know, if they want to be in law enforcement, they want to be active and so forth. And you know, it's we're kind of a quiet town, so they can go to Portsmouth or Nashua or Manchester. You know, maybe you don't want to be in that busy, <laughs> but it, it's you know, it's a balance, and it's it's difficult to find quality people, and it takes a long time to get them trained, and it's a big investment. So, uh, yeah. Mm. 
Um, right. So one of the things um, I'll bring up is, um, had you considered some outsourcing, which is one of the things that Bill had mentioned at the uh, police department initial meeting, um, had we looked at having a mixture um, in that way? Well, our our part-timers are a way of managing that. I mean, they're a lesser cost to us. Um, but, you know, when you say, you've, have you thought of looking at that? I mean, that's a, it's a big question. It takes a lot of time. It would have to be a real commitment on the part of the board, the community, to think about other arrangements. And, you know, I, I'm just now starting to hear some of us, you know, think about that. You know, we talk about that. Um, there's no ready, you know, whether, whether it's sharing space, I mean, either, whether it's uh, just, you know, contracting with, you know, another community, um, I, I don't know. But, but clearly, one of the things that I personally worry about is that, you know, if you do have staff, you want to take care of them. You, you want to provide them with a reasonable salary, good benefits, and they need a career path. We can't provide a career path. They're, we're too small. And so, you know, we're lucky that we've had the stability that we've had with our officers, to be honest with you. Um, it, it surprises me because there's, there's no, you know, there's no ready career path for them. So. You got more questions, Bill? Yeah. Yeah. I think Vern is up. <clears throat> okay. Let me scroll back because some of this stuff starts earlier. <clears throat> okay. You said that this is basically a cash basis. Well, I don't know. No, I retracted that. I said, we're doing it, whatever our accountant, I mean, we're following then what our audit Then it's got to be an accrual basis. Then that's what it is. But it isn't. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do you have a question for him? Yeah, I do. Um, I have several, but I'll, I'll start with the more important ones. Your planning consultant is a minus figure. How did that that and was still a, give you a refund? Or? Yeah, no, it was a, a, a notation by the accountant, and it's probably an FY16, so I need to talk to Caroline about getting it out of there. Oh, that brings me to an interesting point, which is beside this, since you brought up the issue of the, of the auditor. Do we have the auditor's report yet? We have the auditor's report that was printed in the town report. We don't, we don't get the full until June. Okay. There were adjusting entries done to the books, obviously, because auditors there always, do that. There always are. Can I have those adjusting entries, please? Sure. Okay. From the auditor, please. Okay. I, I just couldn't fit, but to go back to this one thing. So I don't know how you can do a negative expense. Um, the transfer station, again, is one of those things that's kind of an oddball. Um, you pay the property liability trust cost all at once for the entire year. Is that correct? Are you under insurance? Well, yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. Four, one, okay. Yeah. Uh, now I'll ask the question that's sort of bad at me as I went through all of this. You have expended three hundred fifty-three thousand one fourteen, based on this report. In operating expenses, not capital items, not reserves, just operating expense. Page 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. We go down and we look at revenue. And revenue so far received is a hundred and is two hundred thirteen thousand seven twenty one. So you spent more than you've received. Yeah, that's not unusual. So the difference, because you've spent more than you've received, you're going into your fund balance, is that correct? That is always the case. Okay, what's your cash position at this point? I you don't know, know that. Huh? We're about, it's a little over a million, I think, actually. And do you have, how many more school payments do you have to make? We're watching it, Vern. Well, I mean. We're watching it. I mean, if, you know, I don't know that it's, this is a budgeting issue. It's, it's a cash flow on the towns that the town is looking at and managing. Do you have a budget question? Yes. How would you, how would you, 
make it if you ran out of cash before the tax bill came out? We've asked for transfers from the uh, um, trustees of the trust fund or the items that we were authorized to spend on. We are getting a short-term loan for, at some point, for some of the um, bond warrant articles from which we're starting to expend. Capital, for all time, capital reserves can only be used for the purposes so made. It can't be used for uh, cash flow. I've already checked with the RA and they said absolutely not. Short-term financing can only be used to finance those capital items. So I'm talking about operating. Then I'll check with the DRA and verify that with them as well. Michelle Clark. I, she's our person. Okay. Really, yes, I'm, I'm not sure I'm getting the point of this. It's I'm, not a budget it's issue. It's not a budget it's issue. It's not a budget issue. The town is operating. And, and I feel if you have these questions about the, the operation of the how the select board is managing the money, I think Perhaps you should go and sit with them and see how they're doing this. But in terms of the budget committee, um, I, I guess my feeling is a more appropriate question is, you know, how do we look for the year? And, you know, when you talk about these shortfalls, the town has <coughs> a, a procedure to, to fund this. So are, are we in trouble or not? And I, I think the answer is we're, we're okay. And do we really need more than that? Um, I, I just need a clarification. But, Okay. All right. But I, I don't think that level of clarification is appropriate here. I'll leave it at that. Do you have any other additional questions, Mark? Not at this time. Okay. Are there any other additional questions? Go ahead, Nancy. Um, <clears throat> page five. Line eleven on the lieutenant's salary. Have you incorporated the two thousand dollars that you? Voted to add to his salary after the after the. No, I don't think so. Okay, that's the original. So his salary will be two thousand more than this thing. Well, yeah. yes, he will be getting a two thousand dollar increase. Is it on there? Mm -hmm. Is it right? Um, can you speak about why? Is it retention? Mm -hmm. I think it was related, sort of related to that. Well, you know, I think losing yeah. another officer. You know, uh, yeah, I, so I think I, he, he was given, after conversation with Chief Ducharme and the lieutenant, a $2,000 increase. Okay, I, I think I'm satisfied with that. Go ahead, Nancy. Satisfied with the response. <clears throat> um, page 7. Fire uniforms. I don't know how far down that is. Uniforms. Uniforms. It's the only one in brackets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can check on that. Okay. I just figured that it was just a. Yeah, it could have been. Just a miss. Yeah. Um. Page eight, which would be vehicle repairs. And maintenance, we're already at 79.3%. Is that? Well, you? there were, there were a number of issues with vehicles this winter. Now, I was going to say, is, is, do you think, it, do you feel that it's going to, oh, um, I don't know. I, well, it's unclear. But we'll watch it. We'll be watching. Thank right. you. That's it for me. Just to follow up to that, is that police cruiser in that one? The one that just got rear-ended? No. 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 Okay. no. no. That's, that's recent. Be they supporter. Somebody rear ended the police? No, front-ended. Front-ended, actually. Front -ended, they they right. backed into it. Yeah. It was, yeah. Ended up, of course, being a DWI because Get drunk and back into a police car. Yeah, that's right. But right. Chief Duchar did want me to tell you that the money we spent putting in these little crash mm -hmm. bumpers or something yep. really has saved 
This is the second time it saved us from more damage than from having lesser damage. Okay, on that towering. We did on Pike's on contract what? for Pike. And the contract yes. came in for two hundred ninety two thousand, yeah. and we got three hundred thousand. Yeah. Now, when they did bear, they went over budget. No. Oh, they no, didn't. They went under budget. Oh, did they? Okay. Yes. No. So that the gives contract it. when yeah. we when we did the when yeah, we went out for bid, the contracts came back over budget. Okay. Right? That's, okay. But but then once we accepted it, you know, mm -hmm. we had to do some juggling. They came down lower than they they mm -hmm. were lower. So a follow up on that, we got seven thousand for road repairs, for other road for patching. Patching. Yeah, we're looking to also find uh, funding somewhere else. To okay. Yeah. That's that's going to be a problem. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. Our roads are a problem. Yeah. It's yeah. Undoubtedly, we our roads are. Right. Right. We went to Kelvin Drive. We went to Kelvin Drive. Yeah. That's a lot worse than that. Gary even said. Our roads are a problem. Yeah. And I got one more. Go ahead. Uh, Next meeting, could you give me a copy of the CIP up to date? You know, what the 10-year project is? Sure. Yes. I mean it. I don't need it. Don't, 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 don't. No, that's for you. For me? Oh. oh, look at this. Oh, this is stupid. Thanks. Thank you. Um, Go ahead. Um, can you give us a, a status on the town hall drainage project? Um, it looks like we spent 2250 so far. Um, what have we solved and what are you anticipating still looking That was, yeah, uh, that work was done inside, so it was sort of band-aid work to make sure the doors could open and close and that the floor could be leveled out. So that was that work. Um, the contract to gain in construction is for 38000 I think, and it's been awarded to him. We are waiting for him to deliver his bonds and to sign a contract. Just the, <coughs> on the rep transportation, was that left over? It couldn't have been left over. Right? No, that was uh, that is new. It it, it is uh, it's not really transportation. I think it was admission uh, tickets for state parks. Uh, state parks. <coughs> so it's you know we don't really have a category for it. So and and if you recall, we uh, you know that was a late adjustment to the budget. So all of the, the summer rep, summer rep yeah. is in the top one. Um, and none of the other lines are budgeted unless they have a buck in the line or something. So should that be up there or should it be there under consideration? <coughs> well, you know, I, we'd like to account for it where, they, where the spending is happening. We don't really have suitable lines, so so we put it there right now. I think once, once we have the you know, the experience of this summer, we'll be able to see where they're, where this new instantiation of summer rep is spending its money to set up a budget that reflects it. <coughs> tell us where we're at uh, in terms of revenue, our, your projection, and um, how close we are to that. Uh, I think we're at, uh, let's see, let me find it. Did, that, did you send email on that? Should have been following. Yeah. There is a revenue sheet at the end of it. Yeah. So if you look at the, um, so if you look at the revenue page, um, we're at about 18.2 percent of the revenue that is not, you know, transfers from uh, the reserve funds and fund balance. So more the uh, anything that's other than that. You can see the money that's been coming in. <coughs> you know, we don't get we don't get the state um, room and meals till the end of the year. So there's some of the big things that we don't. We get a big chunk of the road at the end of the year. Just to follow, follow up on that. Um, so um, we're in, at the end of the first quarter, and um, building permits are only projected at 12 percent. Um, are you anticipating the summer is going to make a big difference, or yeah, this is a slow quarter for building permits. Yep. So you expect to make that up? Yep. Okay. Okay, uh, the surcharge on <coughs> vehicles is moved to June now yeah. instead of April. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I register Matt. Did and you squeeze in? <laughs> I got another quick question. Have we ever got the bill for the snow removal for the winter that Mick did? 
I know they came in with a number and it was way well, out of whack. Well, it wasn't that it was out of whack. The whole this invoice the was wrong. Yeah, it was it was yeah, no. So no, we haven't. Okay. All right. Does that wrap us up on town? Mm, seeing nothing, we're going to move on to our, our next item, which is other matters which may have come before the budget committee. We'll start with Suzanne. She's first. Thank you. So, let's see. Uh, we are looking to do the CIP process sometime, you know, it's usually in the summer, but it would be good to get a, you know, our, our budget committee reps to the CIP. I know that there have been some people on this committee, I, I don't know if they're willing to serve again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to and Bill, that would be excellent. And, 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 and me from the school side, please. Yep. What? Yep. Thank you. And the other thing is the, you know, the, t the select board has formulated, has formed a um, RPD space needs committee. And we were specifically looking for a budget committee rep to that. So as it turns out, three of the people sitting around the table are on that committee, Denise, Bill, and Kim. So I don't know that we need to say that one of them is the, is the budget committee liaison, I mean, I think. I mean, if the budget committee is fine with that, we can fight over it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the budget committee certainly is represent well represented on that yeah. committee. So I just wanted to say that. Shouldn't we make it official though? One person shall represent the budget committee. Is it required? No. Then I, uh, unless there's a someone wants to move forward with it, I say we can carry on. <clears throat> and then from a sort of a heads up. Uh, perspective, you know, we're going to continue to look at administrative services and at the issue of a potential town administrator. So, I, this is not the first time I've said that. And I'm going to be working with the select board on the notion of putting, now that we have our 10 year road management system that allows us to better cost out our upcoming money, to have our roads be entirely within the operating budget, our road maintenance entirely within the I know that's not going to be popular with some members of the budget committee, but that's what I hope to be working with the board on. That's it. Any other matters for the bill? I was just going to ask um, for an update. Did, did I see a new container at the uh, transfer station? We, we should have two, two like demolition containers. No, I thought it was a new compactor. Already? Yeah, I thought so. Wasn't that what? Um, it was a big green thing. A big green thing. Because <laughs> we, we were there, we talked, is that yeah. the new big green thing? So yeah. I, I didn't know. That. Okay. Be sitting okay. there. We did sign a I know somebody there, I'll ask. contract with the planning for signing. Yeah, I had asked to be put on the agenda to talk about the bylaws. I would like to make a suggestion on a change. Okay. So free. Okay. Um, I think, I'm sorry? Guidelines. We call guidelines. Them guidelines. I understand. Got it. Um, so I'm proposing to change um, F and uh, make it 10 or whatever. But my proposal is that um, to add another one that says that the chair can express their opinion on a vote. The chair should only vote to break a tie, not to create a tie in order to defeat a motion. That was what I would like to put out. If, if I can speak to that. I understand the, the point, but my concern is that I think our constituents need to know where we stand on the issue. So I'm concerned if the chair is not voting on an issue, then the public is not going to know whether the chair, whether he or she is in favor of this or in favor, not in favor of a certain issue. And it, does that provide them with the information they might need to, to vote for that person in the future? should that person run again. So I, I guess to me it's an issue of um, how, do, how do that individual's voting record, how is that reflected if they're not voting? And I have no problem with the chair voting. The only problem I have is when a chair creates a tie and then defeats a motion. Because then a personal agenda gets involved. A chair should, a chair should always be objective right. and vote only when there's a tie, and it shouldn't have any personal. Uh, um, that's that's my that's my feeling. That's my opinion. Burns up. Um, I I heard this was being discussed around there, so I talked to a couple of people who are familiar with this particular subject, 
and they said it wouldn't survive a court challenge if you passed it's that. It because it's, years. you're denying someone a right to vote. I didn't say that you couldn't. I didn't say a chair couldn't vote. I said it shouldn't create a tie. That's the same as denying them a vote. So we're, go ahead, Suzanne. Well, I mean, I, I thought of this last year when it came up when mm -hmm. we when we did this, and um, you, you know, I I vote at select board meetings. I don't. I'm a, a half step behind, you know. But there are only three of us, and I, I don't I don't know what the school board chair does. And I I, I, I agree that you know the this isn't a you know 300 member board. You know, it's there are really only nine of you who have been elected by the town, and so. You know, I know it's a difficult situation. I mean, I mean that was a particular difficult situation. But I, I think my feeling is that the chair um, should vote. Good Well, that was it. That was my question. Um, my question is: Is did you say to should only break or make a tie? I said it shouldn't make a tie. It should, it should only, only break a tie. A tie. Uh, Bill and Michelle. But if if you're, you know. I think as Vern said before, but if they're then they're you're still denying them a vote. I mean, if it if there's you know ten people here and it's five to four, and if the, the chair votes to be the, the five to five, that that creates a tie. But to do otherwise is to deny that person the ability to vote on something. I, I don't know that that's right or fair. Good. Okay, can I make it? Just a, sure. I'm not sure I understand the. the if this can happen, but if it, if a chair votes and makes a tie, does it have to defeat the motion? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the motion doesn't. Uh, right. Right. So let's let's continue the just discussion. Go ahead, Michelle, and then we're going to Judy. I was just going to comment that I've seen it done both ways now. Um, in the past, <clears throat> the old chairs didn't vote. That I saw, like right. when Dick. Was, um, when I was chair, yeah. I didn't vote. I only it was voted always only if it was a tie. Right. So, uh, but certainly by convention, and we sort of learned this in our uh, school board chair uh, uh, um, training training that we go to. Um, that the that the idea is not is not to make a tie. Um, the problem I have with making a tie is that the language says that that means that the that that the that that the that, that the motion is it doesn't it, uh, the language doesn't say the motion is defeated the motion says there is no Majority. there is no decision and so so when we put on a warrant budget committee did not recommend to do to that tie vote that really wasn't the case it was budget committee has no position is what should have gone on right so that the warrant so so i would so i it, would accept that so that i would exactly. accept if, if we can decide to go that way because i because quite frankly i believe that's why we do not have a collective bargaining agreement today right so so i want to talk because i i actually was part of that discussion and that was one of the legal opinions i requested that has not been provided so uh, that being said, um, I understand the conversation from all sides. Uh, so me as a chair, right? I just tonight ha I had no intention <laughs> of doing that, right? But I can tell you, when I was elected, I did plan on voting, right? So, so, um, so maybe if I wasn't elected, I would be all jumping on the table with you. Uh, but but just uh, uh, receiving that nomination and accepting, um, um, I, I would feel disenfranchised. With uh, to, and to, to kind of put it in today's uh, political climate, um, I would put that somewhere close to the nuclear option, right? Mm -hmm. that our Senate just used. Do we have a second and, on the motion? And, uh, no, this isn't a motion. This it's is just a open discussion. discussion. Oh. Oh. Right. Um, so, you know, sometimes we make decisions um, for reasons and then we, we worry about them as we go forward in the future. So. Um, I just wanted to throw out my two cents as the chair, um, but that being said, I'm going to go boom, boom, boom. Can I just move oh, the originator? Yep. I, can we change it to be what she said, that it doesn't give a decision based from the budget committee? And then I'm happy. Yeah, so, so I'm still going to go boom, boom, okay. boom, and now boom. Okay. Uh, so well, I, I guess my, my thought on that is I, I agree with you. If, it, if, if the legal language, as you say, it's, it's not recommended, it's, you know, 
there's no decision, or maybe we just want to leave, put the votes on there. Budget exactly. committee voted five to four in favor, That's six to two again, you know. So yeah. we're gonna get it. Whatever. Okay. That requires uh, a warrant article itself, a town meeting, in order mm -hmm. to do that. So to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, result the, of the, yeah. mm -hmm. the warrants are very tightly scripted with yeah. regard to what you can put on that, and you can't, you know, what you can and cannot put as part of your warrant article. So right now, with what we are required to put is, uh, you know, the kind of vote, majority, two-thirds, whatever, and then whether the select board approves, and if it has budgetary consequences, uh, that whether the budget committee. Right, is approved, yes or no, or something like that. Yeah. So Michelle and Dr. Kim. Yeah, so I, I just want to agree with what Judy said about changing how it's worded, because I do think it's a misrepresentation to say it's not recommended, which usually to the public means everybody was against it, or the majority was against it. Mm -hmm. well, when a tie is not, that's a totally different, in my opinion, a totally different um, outcome where it, it wasn't by a majority vote, it was, you know, so just as a follow-up, Suzanne just said it's very tightly scripted, so we can't really change the wording anyways. Well, I think we need to find out. Yeah, right. I think that's... Right, so, so I think Vern was next, and then um, I'll go. Well, I mean, the obverse of that is if you, you know, you, you don't say the majority of the budget committee or select board recommended, or the majority did. So there are some things that went through as says budget committee recommended, and that might lead the impression that everybody was wholeheartedly in favor of it, and that wasn't necessarily the case. If there was another way to word this, we should investigate. But if not, we're stuck with the law. Right. So, um, so I'd like to, to ask the question of, can we create a policy that says, in the event of a tie, we don't put anything? Is there anything that says we have to put something? I believe so. So who can we check with? So oh, DRA, also. DRA. That would be great to find out what our options are. And, and I think that that's a great discussion for our, our next meeting, yeah. um, especially before we jump into that. No, I season. agree. No, I'm willing yeah, to wait. I want yeah. to investigate it. Yeah. Okay. I don't want it to be deceiving in right. any fashion. Correct. So 100%. Thank you. Go ahead. This is a, a, separate, a different issue than, than the, are we good with your um, with this issue on the voting? So I think, I think I'm good at retracting my my opinion okay. right now. Let's get this answer, okay. and then I'll bring it up at the next okay. meeting. Right. My That's issue great. is abstentions. I don't think we should have any um, people abstaining from votes here. I mean, again, we were elected. We get the big bucks to <laughs> vote on things, and the only time I think we should be abstaining is if it's you know something Personal. if it's a personal issue or or there's some personal involvement in something that you know might cause a conflict, but. Just because you know you don't want to vote on something or, or whatever, I, I I don't think we can do that. So I think we have to vote, and I don't think we should be abstaining. So I don't know where that belongs in here, if anywhere. Or Are you just talking about this little group? Or is this mm -hmm. state yeah. line? No, our, our group. That'd be good too. State I mean, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it legal? Mm -hmm. if someone wants to abstain, they can abstain. It's more convention than law. Yeah. I guess so, but I, 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 I don't know how to word that in here, um, if it should be worded or whatever, but I, I just, you know, I don't think we should be abstaining. I, yeah, I, I was going to say, I had to abstain on a few votes when my husband was fired to because sure. it affected his salary, it mm -hmm. affected me. Yeah. So when I abstained, I said, because it's my husband's salary. Right. And, and if you want to put in that that's the reason why you did it, then it's on record, and, you know, because there is reasons for abstaining. But... Um, in general, though, it shouldn't, unless it personally affects you. Thank you. So I just want to remind everybody that these are guidelines. Yeah. Um, so um, you can come to the table and you can still abstain even if, you, if the guidelines say no, because we know that they're just guidelines and we haven't really observed them. Um, Consistently. Correct. But we're trying. Right, go ahead, Jean. As a new member, are the guidelines online somewhere? Can I find them? Did, did I not send you a copy? By oh, Patrick? I don't think you, you, no. I saw that, you. that. We didn't know it was you yet. Oh. Because I, I didn't send my <laughs> stuff either. So, yes. Okay. Correct. So I'll get a copy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something I didn't put on the agenda, but I think we should talk about is process. Um, there was a lot of discussion and um, um, angst about the whole when we recommend and when we don't recommend. Um, do we want to 
have in the guidelines that we recommend or not recommend, make recommendations during the workshop meeting. So, so can I just make sure I understand that and then I'll, I'll go over to Suzanne. Sure. So are you saying that during the workshop, the, the budget committee uh, it doesn't vote to recommend or not recommend, they make recommendations to the budget, meaning we'd like to see this line changed or, or this amount added or subtracted? Yep, even though it hasn't gone to the public, because that was one of the issues that came up. Um, we tried to make adjustments at a budget committee workshop, and they said, no, you can't do it, you haven't heard from the public. So we waited to go to the public, we tried to make it, and they said, no, you should have done it then. Yeah, go ahead, Susan. Mm -hmm. well, I, you know, I, I know that I said that two years ago mm -hmm. about the workshop, so I agree with that. But, but, last year, the budget committee at its first meeting <laughs> laid out that process for the year, and we agreed to it including me. Yes, you weren't here. It was the April meeting. You were not yet here. It was the first meeting of the Budget Committee. We, that's how come that thing got set up. It, you, you can look at it. The January meeting was the, was the workshop and we were going to make recommendations. It was part of the schedule that we had made out at the very first Budget meeting. We laid out all of the, you know, when, when the town was going to uh, uh, meet, when the transfer station, when the, we had a whole schedule for the year. It was part of, the, I think, one of the very first meetings. I think it was the sort of bookkeeping one we had before the even quarterly ones. Should be in the minutes. I don't think it ever said that that was the point at which we would make recommendations. What it right, said, so, you look at the schedule. So I'm okay with I mean, uh, so, so I think. Uh, my own point right, was right. that it was not, it was part of the schedule, which is why I was unhappy. That right. So, so in front of me, and I think I'm not jumping on Kim here because Vern was very nice to do this. I, I super appreciate it because I probably wouldn't have done it tonight without this. Is our tentative budget committee tentative suggested sugge yeah, for for this year? And he he put some great footnotes on here, which I, I would say are some of our lessons learned. Um, it, because I don't know these right. Looking at this, so what I'd like to do is pass this around, and and let's. Let's agree on some dates and let's talk about what we're going to do at those meetings, so we can we can make. Here, I'm going to pass in both directions. So that's like old school days. Um, so we can we can get down some tentative dates, and if we want, as a as a uh, as a as a budget workshop, if we want to make recommendations to the budget, so that way the the committees can, or the boards can go back and and make those adjustments or not. Uh, before the the deliberative, we can we can do this. Yes, uh, you you have no idea how grateful I am. It ain't over yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's subject to change without notice. Right. So um, I will say that I want on you know right off the bat, um, we need to think about snow days. Um, so we, we need to the budget that in. That was brought up by Nancy, right? All my health care. Um, go ahead, Judy. And first. also right off the right off the bat, um, it's uh, probably not good timing to have the school district uh, budget, which is will be by the way FY19, um, uh, during school vacation, because the SAU office is closed during that week. Right. Yeah. So. Mm. So, okay. so we would not have our, you know, we would not have our. Uh, this is the poor stuff. Yeah. That, that, so, so yeah, just between just, Christmas and New Year's, jumping, is not, just yeah. jumping into that right now, just uh, jumped right out at me. I kind of see uh, uh, some formulas in here. So what I'd like to do is, um, this is just my way of looking at. It. Let's go line by line oh, down okay, this sorry, thing, yeah. and we can talk about it. So I'd like to talk about the meeting day of the July meeting mm -hmm. and say that I already have travel travel schedule for that week, but I can do the following. Or I could do the week before. And I know the week before is too soon to get the reports out. So if everybody is willing to move that to the first week of August, um, I would be able to chair that. Or we could pass it off to Michelle. <laughs> no, no, we should definitely. I usually so, can't make it. I can do it the week before, but I can't do yeah. the week after. Uh, the, and, and is it safe? July meeting? Yeah, so the July 26th meeting, if we could move that to August 2nd, I can chair. If we leave it where it is, um, Michelle can't make it. <laughs> um, uh, so, and if we we can't go the week before, I believe, right, because the, it's, the, it's, it's too, too soon. soon. So, um, I mean, I, I think I, I don't want to go too much further out. So, uh, we have one person who can't make the second. Is there anyone else? I can't make either one. Okay, either one. So we're done. 
Great. Yeah. Just that and so, yeah, so we still keep our our <laughs> quorum though. <laughs> so can we go to the ninth or is that too far out? Right. I'd like to go to the second. All right, so so let's go to the second understanding that we're going to be missing some members, but we still have a uh, forum, and, and we'll make sure to get out good minutes. Yeah, thanks to I'm going to send you the Excel sheet that this is created by, so you can make all these changes. You're the best. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, all right, so the second, so we're going to make that second. Okay. So, all right, so let's go on to the, the third quarter for 1025. Everybody good? Uh, I don't schedule out that far, so I'm good. Uh, so through all Wednesday dates. Correct. Yeah. yeah. All right. So and you'll notice that the location is on there with the town hall. So we're we're good there. So now a reminder email sent out about all department presentations. So I get that. Um, so I'll, I'll take that on. Um, so to start budget season, we'll do police, fire, and the library on 11:22. Is that the is that day time? before Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? Let's take a look. Yes, it will be. Yeah, that, that would be. That's difficult. Yeah. That's yeah. not Yeah, so do we want to move that back a week? Do we want to go to the 15th to stay off the holiday week? Is, is everybody in favor of that moving to, to the week before the 15th? All right. Can I ask a question? Go ahead, Kim. Um, so, in the past, we kind of mixed up the bigger budgets and the smaller budgets to shorten the meetings a bit. Mm -hmm. um, was there a reason that you put them in that order, Brian? I, I simply copied from last year saying they group like police, fire, library was in one evening and cemetery what. And I anticipate there will be some changes this year as well. But I was just trying to get the thing rolling. It's very nice of you. Yeah, 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 fun job, I mean. yeah, absolutely. This is this is like the minutes, right? It's difficult to, to maintain and do. So, all right, so we're, we're agreeing we'll move that to the 15th. Will we be ready for the 15th, though? Is that quarterly? Which means no, 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 this is, oh, this, this is the police, fire, and library budget. For the following year? Right. right. Okay. So you're going to move that back one week? One week to the 15th to get it away from Thanksgiving. <coughs> right. Because we can't move forward. Right. That's the that's the kicker. Okay. Uh, right. Just the. You can. October 25th meeting, has that changed? I was going to say the 29th. No, the 29th has nothing. Right. So, so we're going to talk in a second about moving the school, and I think that that's going to have to move some other items. So what I was going to suggest was we take the cemetery, water, and sewer and move that to the 29th. And then we take the highway town and CIP and move it to the 6th. And then we move the school to the, to the 13th. Would that work? Move. I'm sorry, I got lost. The yeah. 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 So, so that, right, everybody moves up one. So All right, so cemetery is 11.29. So cemetery is 10. 10. Well, why can't the town do the 20th? January, I mean, December 20th. You, you could. You could. Absolutely. Would that be it, better? It is better. The, okay. The, I'm sure. sorry, well, what is the town? Okay. So I'm suggesting the 20th of December. All right, so we changed. I taking good notes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, all right, 12, 20. We're going to go run through it again right. in a second. So we're going to, so we changed the town to 1220. Okay. okay. From 1213. Did you move the cemetery? Not yet. Oh, okay. It, it would be the highway town and SIP, all, right. all three, right? Right, so we'll change that to 1120, I mean 1220, 12 excuse me. So that can, that would allow the school to move back to the 13th. Would that be okay? That's tight. That's tight. I, I, and, you know, we, we, we would love to have the 20th as well. Um, so um, if, if the budget committee wants to sit here until midnight, I'm not no, opposed. We can do it the same night. I mean, I mean I'm, just oh, say, yeah. I'm just saying the, the 13th could make it pretty tight, but, you know, it's... So the 13th is high for the town as well. But we could do the, the town could do the 27th. Oh, right. Oh, that's But they're not on vacation. Why if the, the town is here. Why couldn't the school do the 20th and the town do the 13th? Is that? Well, it's 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 early for the town, okay. too. I'm sorry. Can we do the 27th for the town and 20th for the school, then? Just switch Let, you Let's guys? do it and then argue over it later. <laughs> That, that very makes a valid point. Why, yeah. why don't we do let's, that? Let's so that let's put the town as the 27th and, and the school as the 20th. Okay. And then that gets rid of the 13th date and we'll leave the, the cemetery and water as the as the 6th. 
the six. So oh, 29. Well, it gets rid of the 29. It leaves, the, leaves, it leaves that the six. Okay. Wait a minute. Right, right, but we were going to move everything up. All right, all right, all right, so 11. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Police, fire, and library, 1115. Yep. Yep. Cemetery, water, and sewer recreation, 1129. Oh, 1129. 1129. Highway, town, and CIP on the uh, 27th. 1227. And then the school district on 1220. Mm -hmm. So you've gotten rid of 12, 6, and 12, 13, though. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, so everybody's happy up to that point, and you well, see, we, you go ahead. With 12, 6 open, we may suggest that the police fire and library switched about. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so 12, 6 yeah. becomes the, yeah, that, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Could you change the spelling? Uh, I'll write it all down. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Sure. So cemetery water and recreation is 1129. Yep. Somebody's going to send up the updated. I, I'll, I'll send up the updated one as soon as we have it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Send out a, a say, spreadsheet so you can make your changes. Then send it back to me and I'll regenerate it as a PDF. You're the best. Thank you. Are you sure you want to be vice chair? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> the vice chair. Um, okay. So that being said. Um, the plan was to put the, the school um, the, the school presentation at the school, so we're just going to do our, our little uh, line draw and make that happen. Go ahead. Just a thought, had sort of related to the schedule, was these hearings and these large meetings, the large meetings, can we approach and consider talking to the Legion about having the meetings there? Well, Make better parking, home. handicapped accessible, there's a hardware store. It also doesn't have a fan flowing so you can't hear anybody talking in the gym. <laughs> Does it have microphones, projection? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a plus and minus. Yeah, yeah. there are well, costs. Have, well, you can have <coughs> microphones there. I, I'm it's just, on the stage. I'm just suggesting no, I think it's a great idea. So, I, so I, think, I think I can make a phone call, right, yes. as the chair, and I, I can ask them what, what, it, what they would be interested in entertaining. We could delegate it. Yeah, are you interested? If I anyone's, think I think Vern did this. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, no. so <clears throat> if someone, you will. Okay. All right, Kim's got it. <laughs> Shake it. Um, <laughs> what's his Which name? Which one are we talking about? Right. Former commissioner. No, no. Who was Ken Shorey. Ken Shorey. Yep. For the uh, school deliberative and what else? Oh, I would say the town meeting would be a town great. Well, we're all, we're we're pursuing that. This is it's a town meeting. Oh, well, then you're ahead of us. Pursuing that. Okay. Yeah. So um, don't ask it's about not that. School public hearing, town public hearing. Hey, one second before you go on. So you're going to um, talk to them about the, that. The select board is pursuing that. Okay. So I, I'll ask the Judy. <clears throat> do you want me to ask about SB two, or do you want to do that? I don't know. I'm very confused. I don't even. I don't quite understand all the notation here. So, um, what um, meetings should right, I so ask about? Well, I, right, 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 so certainly I prefer the technology at the school. Um, but uh, well, well, so so this isn't a decision that's meetings. being made. No, we're we're like doing that. some information gathering. That's all. Mm -hmm. So no, let's get the information. Yeah, and then let's let's talk about the, right. So I agree 100. percent So we've got the dates down. Now, well, right. This, uh, so let's go line by line. The school date is not carved in stone until we right. get it from the SAU. Oh, it's pretty much carved. It's if you look it, it at the could, footnotes, it's. There are not many choices. Yeah, right. I mean, it could be. Right. I just, I, just, I, I don't right. know it, and, and right. I, I, I it guess always gets given to us. Yeah, yeah, and, and Judy's 100% correct. They're going to want to know what dates are correct. Right, so I think, so let's just go down the lines, right? Police, fire, and libraries first. We're going to do that on the 12-6. We're going to do that at Town Hall, and I think everybody's on board with that. Cemetery, water, sewer, and recreation is going to be 11-29. We're going to do that at Town Hall, and everybody's on board with mm -hmm. that. All right, highway, town, and CIP. Yep. Yeah, sure. Down. Highway, town, and CIP. We're going to do on 12:27, and we're going to request to have that at the Legion. Or, or, or no, talk. No. No. So, oh, 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 not that one. Oh, sorry. Not that one. Okay, not that one. That one stays at right Downhill. Here. All right. So the school district, which is going to be, hopefully, on 12:20, that's where we want to request that to be at the Legion. 
What kind of no? What kind of turnout do we actually have? All right. So no. Okay. Oh, all right. It's been here. That's my that's my bad as the chair. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm getting I'm getting help from my assistant here. Sorry. That that's me. That's right. All right. So budget committee workshop on one ten. We're going to do that here. Yes. Okay. Everybody's on board with that. Everybody's okay with the date. Now, before we move on, because I want to do everything line by line like we're talking about, at that budget committee workshop, mm -hmm. is the expectation of the budget committee to make recommendations to the budgets, to, to the department heads and to the, the, the members of our board on what we want to see happen with those budgets? Yeah. That's a question. So that's Otherwise, what. Want, what is the purpose of the right. workshop? Mm -hmm. Hundred okay. percent on board. Recommendations, but not. Not the recommendation of approve or not approve. Right. But if if the budget right. committee wants to change some values, wants to move lines, add lines, subtract lines, two lines, the expectation is that that budget committee workshop, the budget committee will come forward with whatever that information is. Okay. But, but with it's the not with the understanding that it's not cast in stone. And the Correct. final decision is after the public hearing. Correct. Right. And it could be completely different. Correct. It could be. And I think what the idea behind this conversation that we're having is so that way the department heads and the, the members of the board have a direction that they expect the board to be going, the, the budget committee to be going. Well, it, it's even a little bit more than that because the public hearing is the budget committee's public hearing of the budget committee's budget. Mm -hmm. So just because, no, I, no, yes, no. it is the budget committee's budget that's being presented. And so, and so for, for if indeed the budget committee it, it makes changes to the school budget, your rec is making changes to it, I, I would still, I would likely be the one presenting it, and I would still present it, but it would be the budget committee's Budget. Right. So it's the same way the town. I disagree with you. It's not the budget committee's budget. No, it's the, it's right. not so until after the public has, hearing. It's the department's budget, but it's the budget committee hearing to hear what the department's budget and how they feel about it. It's all not, right. Oh, well, 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 no, no, no. Now you're talking about. I'm talking about the public hearing before recommendations to. Uh, to to make it, so you can make a decision approvals. about what that budget is. Right. It's a bu it's a budget committee meeting, but it's a department head's budget at that time. Okay. So we can, after we hear public comment, then we make our decisions whether or not. Right. So the public right. doesn't know what changes the budget committee might make. Then is what you're saying. It has no con right. They can't make comments on what the budget committee decides to change because there that, is no that, change. There's really there's a recommendation. And I think where we messed up last year is now. we were trying to vote. Right. If I remember right, right. <coughs> versus so, making a recommendation, so, and everybody got right. So we have a lot of hands in it, and a lot of people are confused. Still confused. Right. So, so let me let me put. Uh, I want I want to, to summarize how I understand it, and I can be corrected. At the budget committee workshop, mm -hmm. the expectation is that the budget committee will talk about the budgets that have been presented. Mm -hmm. Okay, the budget committee will say, "Hey, select board." I don't think you're spending enough money on road repair. We would like to see that increase. Or school board, we think you're spending too much money in special ed. We would like to see that decrease, right, based on your accounting, right? That would happen at the budget committee workshop, because it's a workshop where the budget committee will voice their opinions and, and their direction they'd like to get, all right? That's the budget committee workshop, which we'll do on the 10th of January at Town Hall. Is everybody on board with that? <coughs> I, I want to make a request that the um, department heads be there for, for that meeting. All right, so for questions, comments. Yep. Okay. So everybody's good on the budget committee workshop. Okay. So now we've got all kinds of stuff here. Noted. Oh, oh sorry. I okay. skipped. I, I think when we also got our departments when they first come out with their budget, we should also give input what we think of their budget to some extent, not finalize it. Right. You know, if they're saying they should give a 10% raise for right. this, I think we should give some sort of an opinion. I agree 100%, and I think that, that is, that's always been done to forward. a small extent. Get it forward so that they know where we're at. All right. So, and just as a follow-up, that gives them the opportunity to hear from us and then to come back at the workshop right. and then With some. resolve it. Okay. It, so if anybody's disagreeing with anything, throw it up because okay. I, I think this is a good discussion. All right, so to move on, notice of school board public hearing by 2nd 
Tuesday or seven days prior to the meeting. So that's a that's a note to me mm -hmm. um, on the sixth. Okay. The school public hearing. So we have a date of the 13th of January with a snow date of the 16th. Excited to see the snow date there. Okay. Is everybody on board with that? Now, the location of the school public hearing. We kind of left that one out there. Are we are we thinking the gym or the legion? Mm -hmm. Historically, that's been a pretty low turnout. The deliberative session is, you know, more of a turnout. Um, I think it depends on the turnout. Right, so we don't, we don't know they're that. They're on the now. same day. Oh, oh they, they are. The same yeah. day. Right, so we're doing them the same day again. No, that, that, that's I the get, good, yeah. Right, so we did it after. So, so that's a legion call. That's a legion date. Right, so the deliberative uh, so session the on the school year. board would be the 13th and the snow date the 16th. So those two, the public hearing and the deliberative session would follow on those two days. Right. All right, so that's a conversation we can have with the Legion to see if okay. that date's available. It, it would, it's the same day. I mean, um, you were talking about just the public hearing and then separately the SP2 session or just the no. hearing? No, 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 no. So right now we're just talking about the public school hearing. public hearing okay. and the same day is the budget committee deliberative session. Okay. So, yes, mm -hmm. and ask the Legion. Ask the Legion, please. Yes. Thank you. So 13th and 16th, everybody's happy, and we can okay. we can move on. So the fallback is, of course, the RGS gen. Now SB2 deliberative session. So Legion, yep. So we're good with the third and the sixth, and, and we went from you know Saturday at nine to to Tuesday or Wednesday at that seven. Um, are we good Tuesday? That's seven. So we're good with the snow day. Perfect. Okay. Notice of town public hearing, seven days. That's for my note there. Thank you. Then we go on to the town public hearing, which would be, and, and so town public hearing and the budget committee deliberative session at the same time, piggybacking off each other. Well, one comment. Yep. Is that it felt really late last year. It was. It was really late. It felt you were really late. Last had, possible day. Yeah. Mm. And we had. <laughs> Difficulty getting all of our materials together in order to make some of the DRA deadlines and this sort of stuff. I, I don't have a suggestion because it, it seems a little packed, but I, I don't know if some things can be pushed up. Mm -hmm. But that that was that's really late because the dilute did the SB two. That's almost firm, right? Almost for the. Yeah, again, I, I don't know the dates. Right. It, ha it has to be so far, so long after the, right, the public so hearing. Why can the town not be in the end of January? Right, so we could either do the 20th or the 27th. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, would, I would appreciate mm -hmm. some Sure, so uh, uh, we'll, 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 no, you can go back, but you can't come forward. Right. It's going to be 25 days from the town meeting date. Right, and or, or more, right? It can be more than right. 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 So, so if we go uh, back January to the, yeah, January, January. January. Yeah. yeah, sure. Can I just why why can't we something? do the the public hearings together like we always we have? have. Past, yeah. yeah, I mean they they always were done together, and then we have school and the oh, yes. hearings, not the deliberative yeah. session, but uh, public. I mean, let's just say it's one more additional meeting, and it's on a Saturday. I mean, why can't we do those together, and then the deliberative mm -hmm. session in, as a separate? and school public hearing together? Yeah. Yeah. We oh, always no. did them. You know. How far out oh, can you go with the school public hearing? I don't know you have to. I, well, I don't know if these are subtracted in the, the, the timeline of the SB2, but we should hook up to whatever that date is once that calendar comes out and have them together. It, I, mean, it, I think the only thing it might do is it might go down. It won't go up. It won't so go we, we would be happy to piggyback because it's for sure it's going to be before February 10th. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. So whatever. Right. So so what I'm hearing is is we'd like to do the school public hearing and the town public hearing on the same day. Yes. Oh God. So it's not that much. It's always it's always that way. It's not that many people that come. So so <laughs> now so we have to a little bit of session for each one. So no. Uh, no. Oh, this is just a public oh. hearing. Oh. oh. This is no. no this is right. just to hear public so, comments. So so why? It's right. You know I'll I'll and entertain then we deliver it down. to the. Yeah. To the team, to why don't we move that to the 13th of January and do both of them then? That's what I'm, that's what I'm recommending. Is, is the town going to so be ready? I, well, the town is already ready. Oh, okay. Well, so the difficulty for January us was, was, you know, we have the budget ready for, for here, right? So it's all put together. And 
And then it's not going to change for the public hearing. The public hearing was so late last year that, that then the stuff that we had to do once the budget committee made its final recommendation <coughs> put us, they had us scrambling. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, Vern has suggested that we move it out <coughs> to the 20th. Is the okay. budget committee open to doing both of those on the 20th? We, no, uh, no, not both. We can't. The sequentially. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> we, we can't. That's too late for the school. Yeah, school. based on Vernon. So it's either everybody goes on the 13th yeah. or we go on the 13th and 20th. So I'm looking for a direction. I, I'm kind of hearing Burns say that he doesn't want to do them together. Does anyone else feel that way? <coughs> so that being said, then let's put them together on the 13th. Well, and, oh, go ahead. Maybe if we can get some idea of how much is going Like we have 24 more <coughs> for the town this year. Right. I don't want to do that again, not with the school. So two people. I, I yeah, and then there's a long one. I, I don't want to bump Another no. suggestion is if you put the hearing together, <coughs> the two of the hearing together, then you could have a meeting, like a Wednesday night meeting for the budget committee deliberation and make your decisions. Like, the, well, I'm just a suggestion. I think the people who show up at hearings want to hear what we're going to do. I, nobody says. Right. Yeah. Right, you know, yeah, ten who show up completely and then maybe one will stay. I mean. <laughs> but, all right, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm hearing can, on this, and, and I actually I, I get it because we were there kind of late on the town. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I do like the idea of moving the town up. So why don't we start right now by saying let's do the school on the 13th, mm -hmm. and let's do the town on the 20th. And as we get closer, if we find out there's not a lot of Warren article stuff going on with the town, we'll consolidate as we get there. Mm -hmm. but yeah, we won't know that until we, until we get until much there. closer. <laughs> right. All right. So we got time. So let's do that. So we're going to change the. Uh, Sorry, the, I'm going to give you all this. Okay. Yeah, the town uh, public hearing to 120, and that will put the snow day at the 23rd. And there's also some real specific dates we have to post things by. That was one of the reasons we couldn't mm -hmm. piggyback them during my year I chair, because mm -hmm. I missed that deadline ah, uh, the day, and that's why we had to have the second yeah. one. And and then that became the norm. Yeah. And then it became the norm. Right. Yeah. We always did it together. So that but that was three years ago. Um, so. That became the norm three yeah. years ago. Yeah. 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 Who's going to notice these tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, and then um, uh, we're not going to change the town voting or the town meeting. So. <laughs> I don't think we can change yeah. the town Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to no. move all the dates. I think that's been settled. All right, so so I I don't think we need to regurgitate this. I, I think yeah, I've got it down. I'm going to send it to Vernon. He's going to send it back, and we're going to do this fancy business, and I'll send it out to the group. Thank you for, for bearing with me on this. Yeah. Uh, this is great. Okay, um, is there any additional business which comes before our committee this evening? Okay, seeing none. Thank you, everybody, for doing this. Motion to adjourn. Come on, I wasn't done talking. Thank you. I was outnumbered. Motion to adjourn. Nancy, second. Bill. 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 Always. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, guys. And welcome to our new members. A little heart to heart with everybody. Save that heart to heart for the beginning of the next one.